Welcome to the podcast. Episode... Wow. Episode... Wow. What episode are we 16. on, David? Wow. 18? We... Yeah, we're 18. We legal? That was a joke last week, right? Was that where we're legal this week? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Funny Welcome joke. to episode 18, where we figure out what Gore's true profession is as a cam model. Are you a cam model? Yeah. Sure. He's not if, that's, if that's what you want. <laughs> Did we ever tell you the story about what happened to a certain friend of ours that uh, when he was on Fiverr? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna name names, but Sigma. let's just say <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't actually gonna name his name. That's not his real name. So. <laughs> uh, he was on Fiverr. He was do. He was just um, paying five. You know what Fiverr is, right? No. It was a website wait, where you could pay. Wait, someone take five... a guess. Yeah, you're right. Uh, let's see. It's like a grinder. No. For that day, it was. <laughs> uh, it's a website where you can pay someone five dollars, and they'll just do whatever. They'll take requests for whatever they do specifically. So someone would be like, "I'll draw a picture for you for five dollars, or, or that, and you can pay five dollars for that." That's the lowest it can go is five dollars. I mean, it, it would you be can more. Do up to that. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, it, nowadays you'll be lucky to find a five dollar one. But uh, uh. He wanted to do make some extra money, so he would offer he would do five dollar requests for DDR, and uh, someone just probably messaged him and said, "Hey, I'll do it." And he's like, "All right, cool. What's on you on?" He's like, "I'll pay you more if you do it naked." And he, <laughs> he freaked out and just deleted his account immediately. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't just go. You don't ask how much first. How much? <laughs> David would do it. David has no, no shame, dude. Yeah. No, oh, fuck that. Everyone's got a price, and I know a price, so I mean, I have shame. That's just because I don't, I can't play DDR. Yeah, that's the worst thing about it. <laughs> I'll do a naked fuck it, but I just can't play DDR. You know, it's kind of embarrassing. See that the DDR dance league. Like, nobody wants to see that. All right. Hey, uh, Gore, would you play? I tried to play DDR once in an arcade, and it fucking. Like, it was a long time ago. I was like, I could do that. Everybody, all these, uh, all these people going up there, and they. Okay. They bust a move. That's what they said back then. Uh, I'm like, I could do that. And you couldn't. Didn't. I missed DDR. <laughs> I embarrassed That's myself. Still around. Hey, uh, or what'd you play? Nothing. I didn't play anyway. Shut up. All right, no, one. I've been I've been playing the shit out of Dragon Quest Builders too. It's <laughs> yesterday I, knew I was you'd like, I knew like, that'd be the fucking oh, you casual oh, ass oh, doesn't want to play any fucking game of substance. Oh, you just want to play oh I could farm, I could build something. That's all yeah, I want that, to do. That's that's ridiculous from you. <laughs> I'm, I'm the one trying to play oh, the game just right because now. Because he's finally after ten years of him not playing any games, he plays one and then gives me shit. Even though yeah. I've been playing fucking games. Yeah, this for, year. Yeah. I beat a few games, fucker. <laughs> yeah piece of shit <laughs> all right so, three three games fuck. a month yeah i, I still I, I, three games a year is still more than what you fucking beat <laughs> in a lifetime not, not this way with how much you put into stardew valley and probably dragon quest builders at this stardew point. valley is a good fucking no first of all dragon quest builders 2 is is definitely way more challenging than stardew valley <laughs> because there, there's time there's times where dragon quest builders 2 is just like hey, there's a giant fucking huge level fucking monster that just popped up in front of you you better fucking run bro <laughs> it's like so i want to hear it but it, what, it's what, what are the stuff you've been playing sure it's casual but uh it's fucking good <laughs> that's a great game on switch but, uh, i play resident evil 2 this year also by the way so yeah, this year. <laughs> i beat it that's not an easy game Fuck yeah, beat it this it's year nice. this year well the new one obviously is one i know i just like that you just <laughs> point out that game I beat this game that came out in February this year. I beat it three times. So. Oh. Bitch. <laughs> That's uh, my bitch. That's my what, bitch. What else you been playing? <laughs> um, face is a bitch face. <laughs> I broke him. <laughs> we played Mar- Marvel. <laughs> yeah, why, why, I, I love how I love how we fuck a casual ass game, man. Fuck you. Anyway, let's talk about Ultimate Alliance Three. The game where you just press one button over and 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 over again. Oh, almost like any beat em up ever. Yeah, so it's still casual. It's no, that's not true because some beat em ups are actually challenging. Yeah, this one. Uh, the last four that came out. 
They're probably more challenging than this one. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Even when you get knocked down, you're just like, okay, I'll, I'll get back up. I will say the difficulty ramps up insanely once you start getting uh, the sniper enemies that appear. Those things can fucking go away right. in a fire. We're not, that. We're not playing that game anymore. I don't like any sniper enemies ever. Fuck it. Spider-Man had the sniper ones or whatever, the rocket launcher ones. I'm like, this fucking sucks. Like, legit, <laughs> the bosses are nothing compared to the snipers. Those things will fucking do shot, yeah. Yeah, all right, that's annoying. I don't like that. But, uh, whatever. Anyway, yeah, Ultimate Alliance 3 is a lot of fun. I mean, it's simple. But I'm not against simple. Uh, unlike somebody. All you like is easy mode and easy games. That's not true. And, and plus, you, you're a fucking fucking fat liar you always talk about how like you like easy mode too so get the fuck I out of here i never play easy mode i, I, like no, a, I play at no, least normal no, no you, I, ne- you, I never you, play easy because I'm, I'm an no, achievement bitch no and you, you, you don't get achievements for easy no, no i'm pretty sure you do oh. well of course it's okay to be a filthy casual no one's gonna yeah. judge you harshly yeah, you can't even beat my fucking two second level on mario maker <laughs> go go watch that video. Uh, Chris does that video at four o'clock in the morning. I four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and, he, and he thought he just thought, oh, you know, people, fi- people, no, people was, make some. Was... It, Chris's mind was like, people make some fun levels, right? Some cool, like little fun levels. But well, everyone decided, you know, I I is like fucking people in real life. <laughs> so when people when people make Mario <laughs> Maker levels, they just want people to fucking hate themselves. So they yeah. just so Chris is recorded at four o'clock in the morning where he's obviously not already co- coherent enough to do a lot of things. Oh. And he's just trying his best just to make it through these levels. And then he waited till the very last of your mind. And could there's some of them that were like really hard. Yeah, your, yours was like I don't, I'm just, I can't fucking it was like five <laughs> o'clock in the morning by the time I fucking did your I started at four and yours was the last one. It was already almost an hour long video. I'm just like I can't. I had to go to bed. I don't think he made it longer than ten seconds at anyone in my in my level at all. No, I didn't make it very far. I'm just like I can't do this right now. So I thought you you said you made it in 30 minutes. So I assumed it would be a simple fucking level, but it's called easy peasy. Yeah, I can name uh, the hardest fucking level, the dumbest easy name too. Do like it. uh, that one that everybody's sharing now, where it's just like you have to like jump through the fire lines or whatever. I you know, that one. I, I could call that one. That one calls a uh, super duper Did easy peasy you... lemon. Uh, fucking... Derek Costa made a level. It's apparently super yeah. cool, but like one person only, only one person cleared it. Oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty rough. I didn't play it. No. Uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't played that much Mario Maker too. I, I, I don't I get, on, I get on there every now and then it's just to download whatever the hardest level is. I'll spend like an hour or two on it, then I'm moving on. All right, all right, that, yeah, enough of this. All right, casual. I'm done, bitch. Uh, David, what do you done. play? Marvel <laughs> Ultimate Alliance three and oh, EDF five. Oh, casual. Just shoot things all the time and hit things with your fucking dummy. Who you play? Iron Man. You yeah, play. Iron Man's my main. See, I knew it. Not only casual, on original. Hey, hey, I, Venom made a lot of money in China, so. <laughs> Just saying. They know what the fuck they like. No, oh, fuck that. I'll be uh, Iron Man ride or die, you know? Still Did upset you... Venom never turned into a whale in that movie. <laughs> The way for the sequel. <laughs> I'm waiting. Uh, I'm gonna throw in all the Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> everybody's like, in there. Yeah, everybody's like, yo, man, Carnage. I'm like, nah, man, Venom Whale. Let's go. <laughs> hey, uh, David, Eunice is on sale yeah. on PSN right now. Uh, for how much? I think 15 bucks. I want to say. Uh, maybe I got a 10 dollar credit to burn on uh, PSN, yeah, so yeah, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll play it. There maybe. you go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you die right up. So I I have been still knocking out Persona. I'm now. I just finished the fifth, no, the sixth palace, I think. Oh yeah, you never messaged me what you thought the spoiler I was alluding to was. No, I think I know what it is, but I don't agree with you whatsoever on that. It didn't. It didn't, didn't, re- it didn't really bug me because there's so much shit you got to do in that game where it's like you're just so sidetracked constantly, and then you're like, I really want to go date this one girl and then like you'll get a call at two o'clock in the morning hey let's hang out and you're like fucking you really need to raise that guy's fucking level because i need him the baton pass so then you get sidetracked for like five days and want to do other things and then by the time you get back it's not it's not as fun no oh, fuck that the story mode just fucking pulled the drag shoot for like 30 hours fuck that i don't i don't, I don't agree with that whatsoever i know are you talking zero, about the whole zero, 
I mean, this isn't a, a spoiler, but are you talking about the Hawaii scene? No, not at all. That was the Hawaii most dragging the part. That, that part had, like, nothing going on. But then I heard from my friend what the reason is behind it, and uh, it, didn't, it didn't matter to me whatsoever, so whatever. But uh, apparently now I just finished um, the uh, Sixth Palace. Yep. Uh, the space station, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. So I finished Sixth Palace. And apparently from here, shit goes nuts, so... Yeah, no, it actually gets really good towards the end. Yeah, so apparently I got through the dragon part now, so now I'm good to go. So I'm trying to knock it out before Evo. That's that's my goal. But I, I should be, because I think I have I have two more left, I think. That's what I heard. So... Uh, you got one more, like, traditional palace left, and then the rest of it's kind of free form. Right. Okay. So I, I should be able to knock that out, hopefully, uh, before Evo. Uh, then I forgot to mention last week, as I, uh, just on a whim, I just decided to do it, was, uh, just knocked out Justice 2. That's a good-ass story mode. A lot of fun. I like that. I think that's my first like time that. going through a, uh, NetherRealm story mode in any fighting game. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't... I don't think I've played a Mortal Kombat. Like, the one time I played Mortal Kombat was, like, two months ago with Chris, because I was like, hey, let's play this before the next one comes out. I was like, all right. All I did was play the the uh, guest characters. Like, cool, I got that out of the way. Gotcha. So I, might need, I might need to go do that though. That's still on Game Pass, so I might. Um, do it. We've been doing Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Uh, yeah. Been knocking out some Overwatch lately, as usual. Wait, we're gonna talk talk a little bit about that today. Mm-hmm. Um, First character we'll be talking about on this podcast. Yeah, he he. Uh, this character was almost dancing naked for people. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Mostly Persona. I'm, I'm really excited to fucking knock that game out because uh, that's a long. I don't want to play it anymore because I hate it. No, I I love it, but man, it's just like uh, I I, I know the time I've spent playing Persona, I could have knocked out like five games in the span of that. Uh, can't knock, can't knock down Red Dead Redemption too. Well, as long as I don't just stand around and fish all day like you. Oh, sorry, farm. Yeah, I was just I was just waiting until you said something fucking dumb and not funny. So there you go. Sorry. Freaking nailed it. Farming. You can't farm a Red Dead Redemption two. I'm idiot. sure you fucking stood around you trying to figure fish, it though. out. You can yeah. fish though. <laughs> you you put definitely fish, fish. Put fish in the ground. <laughs> you fish you a lot farm. too. I didn't fish that much. I went. <laughs> I, I every chance I got to fish, I I I did I did it. But most of the time I'm just like, oh, God, I need a fucking. I need to do a mission. I need to do more missions. I, I got to do this side mission. There was so many side missions. And I might I might make that my... Every uh, time I had a chance where there was like, oh, that fucking mission's all the way over there. I'm like, oh, fuck, so I'm going to fish for the rest of the night. How, how long... You, you took your time with that game, though, but how long did it take you? Oh, yeah. how, how many how many days? How many days? Like, was it a couple weeks? Hours, let me see. Uh, game time, it was like it was about uh, like 110 hours, but I, I, I probably beat it about a month. Okay, but you took you took your fucking sweet ass time with that though. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, might, I was, still, I was def- still playing. I was still playing other things. I had the My Hero game that came out. I played that a little bit. So I still had other things to play. But uh, yeah, that's yeah, definitely no, my next time. my next long game I'm gonna play. But I'm gonna that's gonna out. be whenever Beyond Good and Evil Two comes out. That's exactly the same thing I'm gonna be doing too. Whenever that actually comes out, which yeah. I still I still don't believe will, but we'll see. Oh, but. Okay. Uh, nice to have a book, I guess. All right, cool. Uh, David, what'd you get this week? Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. That's about it. Uh, what's, what's there you go. At? Where, where's your Zebo at? Where, where's it shipped at? Uh, it's estimated to arrive sometime mid September. But did they, give you, they, get, they give you the shipping, the shipping confirmation? They sent me a confirmation, but it doesn't have a uh, shipping code. Shipping code, yeah. Well, you ain't getting that. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. The guy sold more expensive it, like items a... before and has really good feedback, so... I uh, I purchased a Thanos 10-inch Funko Pop on eBay a couple of months ago. Yeah. That was supposed to be a pre-order for whenever that, that came out and supposed to come in next month. I was like, I'm curious. Ooh. I wonder what the... Uh... Never, never buy a pre-order on eBay. They yeah, well, I mean, stuff. but look, but, I mean, eBay gives your money back, so whatever. Yeah, but, I know, but, but some I'll... of them can... Well, well, listen. So I was like, yeah, let me let me see what happened to that. I looked and I couldn't find it. It's because the the deleter the the, the so I got deleted. 
Yeah, eBay, eBay deleted them. Well, some of them, I, I don't know if they, you could still do this. Uh, maybe I shouldn't even mention this on the podcast. But there, there's like you people know this about out? this. There, no, 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 no. It, 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 it's a thing that everybody knows, and you can't do it anymore, I don't think, anyway. Because eBay figured this out quick. But I think there's some way where you can trick people into like buying something that's a pre-order and make it so that it's long enough away from when you bought it I think that's, that's where it, it closes the order after like a certain amount of time. So if it's like two months away or something like that, it closes the order and you can't do anything about it because it's been too long to do anything. Um, so if you see a pre or like won't ship for another few months or something like that, uh, your Zebo should be fine, but obviously, but uh, yeah, like I, I, I forgot exactly how long it has to be. I think it has to be like three months or something like that. Uh, and then eBay will close it because you already paid them. So if it, it'll just close it already. Like that's, yeah, I'm, I'm, even though it's scheduled to be here the first week of August, I'm just gonna go ahead. But and... eBay probably figured that shit out, so you, I think you're okay. Unless you didn't get your money back, then you're fucked. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna report it either way. <laughs> yeah, report, we report it because there there are people that, that do that. I know that. That's not even like a, that's just a, a thing eBay has to figure out too about people doing these pre-order things. Because I saw people doing that for um, like Cyberpunk Collector's Edition. I'm just like, oh, I but that's like a, that. that's that's a long time. I know, out, yeah. that, but but people want that because people will sell their pre-order online, and you know. Right, I don't so know so when the, seller, is... the deleted seller has three days to respond, so we'll okay. see how that goes. I don't think he's gonna respond. I, I just have a feeling. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, hey, did you get anything else, David? Or is that it? No, it was a uh, simple week for me. Uh, end of August and to beginning of September, we'll have a lot of shit though. Hell yeah. Zebo, baby. What happened to your Pachamari behind you? He died. Of AIDS. Oh. Oh. He's talking <laughs> to you, dude. AIDS? Did you just say AIDS? <laughs> All right, Gore, what'd you get? Because you said you, oh, had no. to, you had to get this ready. Oh, yeah. Well, I got I got Ultimate Lines. There you go. All right, that was cool. it. <laughs> there it goes. All right, no, I got uh, I got all this stuff. There's Ultimate Lines. I'm putting them back. I got, uh, well, okay. <laughs> You want to go first? I don't have a lot of stuff, but it's kind of heavy. I'll just uh, uh, yeah, I don't have like you. Too, too much. Oh shit! What? Sexy and heavy, right? <laughs> Sexy and heavy. That's the title of your next book. <laughs> My next <laughs> book. <laughs> Implying a first. Yep. Implying he knows how to read and write. I know how to write. I can't read the. I didn't. I didn't get too too much. Um. So I did. I ended up ordering actually, and I'm not gonna show it. But I'll explain why. Is I ordered sure. a uh, Woot bag of crap, which they do. Uh, I guess they do yearly, where it's ten dollars free shipping. They do just a giant box of just bullshit of like whatever the shit that that didn't sell or whatever they have. Oh, like oh, Woot, Woot Crate or whatever it's called. Is it called Woot, Woot Crate? Crate? It's called the, the bag of crap they do every year. From where? Um, on Woot. Yeah, I thought that was, that was Woot Crate. I thought. Nope. Isn't there a thing called Woot Crate? I'm sure there like, probably is, but probably. Okay, all right. It's something so, different. They do this year. I've never work. heard of Woot. They they just get rid of, of a bunch of shit. Okay, um, I never so heard I know. of Woot. Then. Apologies if Chris's camera is laggy. I don't know why it's been like that, but it is. But... Yeah, it's been getting kind of fucking slenderversed over there. Yeah, you your 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 camera's lagging pretty bad. Um, okay. I'm not gonna. And there were a couple it. like distortions in it too. Yeah, the trivia's not gonna be too long, and then the the stories will get through. So I'm not gonna bother. Um, yeah, okay. so I did that. Uh, got a bunch of bullshit. Nothing I, I particularly was like, oh, that's cool. Because some 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 boxes have super cool stuff, some don't. The reason I'm not gonna show it is because some of that stuff's gonna get shoved in Gore's next uh, Gore box. So get ready right. for that. <laughs> <laughs> There's some cool stuff like uh, yeah, no, you, you know, you sent me cool stuff. There's, There's cool other stuff. people. Other people don't send. Uh, me cool there was stuff. a disco <laughs> light they sent me. Oh, cool! I can't wait. Yeah, I, don't, I don't have the batteries for it yet, but I turn it on, do a little dance. Okay. That's cool. But, um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, totally off topic one. I got a fucking new Growlithe phone case. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Move it to the right a little bit. Or to your left, I guess. <laughs> right. right there. I want to see. Wait, no. So I want to see me in reflection. I want to see how laggy I am. Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, wait, here, here, here. <laughs> That's weird. It's not doing that for me. Yeah, look, look now. Yeah, no, I saw myself. I'm lagging everywhere. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. Yeah. I'm it's not, not doing that for me, so. Yeah. I'm not going to fix weird. it. 
Um, <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Fuck uh, it. <laughs> I'll have to stop the podcast and then I'll have to fucking edit that in, and it's yeah. it's just a nightmare. I'm just I'm just lagging. Uh, so I am getting just another GameCube controller. Uh, I All like right. to uh, I like to buy custom shells because they're cheaper than buying the actual controller. Uh, got myself a little a little Fez doll. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Fez. Yeah, shout out to Phil Fish. Yeah, we're waiting for that second one. What happened? Uh, let's see. Um, from Kickstarter, I actually got this finally. It's a game called Throw Throw Burrito. <laughs> it's uh from the Exploding Kittens people. So oh. That's the Kickstarter edition. And they sent me an extra, uh, just an extra edition, so I can get another okay. one. Thank you too. I'll yeah. take it. Nope. No. Right. Maybe. Well, if you should get an Eva, I'd probably give it to you. Oh. Wow. Uh, Damn. What a bastard. Then Target was doing a sale earlier this week, so I am getting Judgment for thirty bucks. A game Damn, came out last cool. month. <laughs> Casual game. And then this thing I'm super hyped about. I uh, got a notification from. Uh, well, I guess not a really notification, but there was a post from my game shop. They got these in. Immediately, it was an impulse buy, even though it was pretty pricey, but uh, I really wanted it, so I'm hyped. It's a 64 HDMI adapter. Oh, yeah, I was selling those. Oh, I saw those. Uh, the one I have the one for a GameCube, uh, and the GameCube one's fantastic. I, I uh, feel, I, I don't the 64 and GameCube use the same... Uh, yes, they did actually. The GameCube, the Super Nintendo, and the 64 all use the same connector, and they did even say if you filed it down you could in theory yeah, no, no. so this both. this thing has been able to work if you filed it down on the, on yeah. the snes i don't know about the gamecube but uh, yeah it's work on the gamecube i hope so because i'm down because i'm i really would want to stream uh 64 games but uh it's nice i can get rid of my giant ass tube tv that sits around in my house i just hate having to lug around everywhere um but yeah, no, I have the uh, one for GameCube, and it works fantastic. Right, it, they're pricey, but because uh, the Hypercans are there too, and those are super cheap, but uh, they're kind of janky. So these ones are really high quality. They have different modes yeah. too, so uh, I don't know if you can see. They have the, you can do it like where you have it like off where it looks less smooth and on where it smooths it up a little bit for you. Yeah, I just like to pass on it because they tap into the S video as opposed to actually tapping into the RGB. So I went ahead and just figured, well, if I just get the official S video cables, I have the Retro Tink too, so it's gonna do a better job upscaling. I understand what you just said, but you know what? I agree with you 100. <laughs> percent All right, Gore. Listen, I do a lot of research into this shit. That's why my setup is so fucking stupid and expensive. Let's see how much you uh, like when you're doing this right now. If you like a lot, then I'm gonna I'll just I'll just fix this up. You gotta you gotta move like that, <laughs> <laughs> No, you're lagging. Alright. All right. Uh we're gonna have to ha- pause for a second. Okay, fine. Alright, we're back. Fuck you! Ah! <laughs> Alright. I, th- I think Chris is all right now, so. Okay. Well, now I'm, I'm weirded out because now you're both on different sides for me, so. That's fine. Yeah, I know it's fine for recording. It's not fine for me, though. Now I have to I have to adjust, and I can't do that. Okay, now pick up your stuff and show it to us. Oh, I don't got anything. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I got Marvel. Ultimate Alliance 3. Marvel, um, baby! Get to the show, small Show us the case again because I think it was lagging so much you didn't see it. So I mean, everyone knows what it looks like. Hell yeah. There, go, there it is. Now, now lick, the, lick the cartridge. Lick it. No, you look, lick I, it. I, right I, now. You're I, the only person I on YouTube that still does. Well, I don't have the cartridge in here because it's in my Switch. But it's when actually not in my Switch. It's, so, but the, uh, this death mark, I just put it in there because I didn't have um, any room in my holder anymore. I'll lick this, though. So. How is a death mark? I'll tell you when I play it. <laughs> I only bought it because Adrian told me it was like on sale at Best Buy. I was like, that might give, that game might be a, nope. you know, worth sale in the future now. <laughs> right, I heard it's really it's good too. It's on sale for less now, actually. I think it's even on yeah. sale a little bit more tomorrow. I'm, I would I might... say I'll wait. I'm, I'll wait until October to play it, but I probably won't play it then. So I, should, I need to stop saying like I'll really, do this. I really want to do a bunch happens. of shit in October. I, like I, I bought all those uh, steel books, like all the scary steel books. Uh, like 
Child's oh, Play. the Mummy. Yeah. Oh. Side side hey, note. You ain't gonna watch the Mummy. No, 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 I didn't get the Mummy. I bought uh, like. They got all the old old movie steelbooks. Uh, most of them. Okay. Uh, so you got Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Um, Wolfman. Killer Clowns. Man. Oh, Killer Clowns is. I'm fun. super excited for that one. Um, yeah. Let's see, I can just look right here. Uh, That's some stupid shit. Uh, Jennifer's Wolfman? Body. Oh, I hate that movie. Uh, I don't understand why. Uh, Wrong likes Turn, it. Jeepers Creepers, Black Swan, Carrie, and The Fly. Oh, okay. The one with the weird, like the the cover. I, I yeah. Yeah, the all new ones. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, side note, I'm super hyped. You ended up getting this too. Uh, I don't want to show it though because it has my stuff on it. Was the uh, the Battle Angel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you got that. These things sold the fuck out. <laughs> I don't know. I got. I ordered it a couple weeks ago. Did you? It, 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 it yeah, went. It back was... up. No, well, whenever it was up to begin with, I think. Um, cause, like, when it was actually up, they had the steel book. I ordered it. It was like maybe a month ago. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Sh- no, it, was it, was, wait, it was less than that because I, I've been, I have that on like an extra tab waiting for the day that it would, it would show up here. I got it. Here it is. It's such a yeah, damn yeah. good movie. Uh, yeah, since, I, since I'm here, I don't really. I got, him, I got him protector. So. Yeah, I fucking noticed. I, never I had noticed. my I had I had Infinity War in one, but I had two left over because I bought a couple for my uh, limited run games, and I I didn't use two of them, so I was like, I'll put two Blu-rays in there because they fit I, uh, perfectly for Blu-rays. So. I'm getting two more things really quick on, on the movie side. I want to at least show off really quick. I got yeah. the 4K of 2001. Nice. nice. I really want the Steelbook. Apparently, the Steelbook also had like some issues with it anyway, so. Yeah, well, that that one's actually worth. I mean, that one's a little rarer, I think. I believe. What? At least it was of uh, the 2001. At least it was when it first came out. I don't know if it's rare. That thing sold out, but then I, I read online that people were having issues where it was a bad copy and there was like some. Issues okay. With it. I th- I was like, whatever. <laughs> oh, I uh, thought then, I heard that that was the case for the 2D. I mean, the 2D, the regular version. Uh, maybe whatever, too, yeah. but I know for sure that. I, don't know. I also got okay. this on sale, which I've always heard good things about this, and it's never looked appealing to me. But I'm gonna give it a shot. Is the complete series of oh, Avatar? Okay. It is it fantastic. Twenty five bucks. So uh, I mean, season one is slow, but after that, it really fucking. I ramps heard the up. first couple episodes are kind of slow, but then after once you get past a couple, then then it gets good. And I've seriously just heard it constantly. Same thing with it. It, it doesn't it, like I don't really believe it anymore. But back in the day, it was, it was the same amount of things where I had people always back in high school tell me to watch Donnie Darko. <laughs> Donnie Darko. Yeah, but I okay. always. Uh, have you, you should you should watch S Darko. Um. So I always funny. have people tell me that Avatar is really good, though, so I, I'm, I'm going to give it, it a shot. Really I watched the first book. still hate that that's what they're called, but I get it. So yeah. I watched the first book. You hate books, like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I got tricked into watching a book. Oh, uh, digitally, I forgot. I bought uh, all the Mega Man games on Switch. Not all yet, but I'm probably going to do that tonight. Um, so Whoa. far, I just got uh, both X collections. And then on... Yes, and I bought Moss. That's on sale right now. Maybe one day we'll get a uh, Mega Man Legends collection. Nice. That's on sale on PSN right now, too. I might grab those. I wanted to do, like, one giant fucking Mega Man Mega thing. Man, Mega Man Legends collection, meaning just two games. Yeah, yeah. still a collection. Well, yeah, I know, but <laughs> is it really? Yeah. It's a double pack. If go check them. Aren't those games <laughs> shitty, though? <laughs> they're shitty now. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> now, nowadays they're not great, but back then they were fun. I played the first one. I never played the second one. The first one was fun. Like I liked the t- the town and stuff. I remember that. There was a town you could wander in. Uh, I don't remember anything else about it. Though. No, it was on sale last week. I missed it though. Right, what well, Mega Legends? Yeah, not that I really care about right now. Yeah. Well, you don't you have, have a PS3? Yeah, no, it's on PS4. Uh, Vita. Oh, it's on PS4, really? No, Mega Man Legends? Not. Yeah, I talk about Legends. The fucking the PS1 games. Let me check. Tron Bond and shit. I just swore I just saw this right now. Maybe it is. Oh. I mean, it's, I, a P- it's a PS1 classic. Yeah. Yeah, and those are I, I thought, PS4. I thought those were only for PS3. Let me see. Yeah, NV, and Vita. PSP. And Vita, yeah. Right, Vita? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Play, play on Vita. Again. Play on Vita. Um, I was probably going to consider. So, uh, once the podcast is over, I think. Best Buy will update that uh, Bloodstain is going to be on sale at Best Buy for 30 bucks, which means with yeah. uh, with GCU, GCU that brings it down to like 23, 24 bucks. I might grab that. It's not a bad price. It's a good game. 
It's a really uh, good game. You get back to it, but it's a really good game. Now that's a tough game. I ain't no casual game. So is that why you stopped playing it? Yeah, I mean, it scared me. I got like halfway through it. To be fair, no, I didn't. I, I just stopped. I I just never went back to it. I don't, I, I don't I want, ever go back. To it, so I want yeah. you to like actually commit to a month of gore. <laughs> And not like talking shit to you, but like you go in hard for the first half of the month, and then you kind of start to always peter out a bit. Uh, now, hold on. <laughs> Just because you're playing one game, don't act like, oh man. No, you, 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 no, you once do this in a while. Because I look at I look at yourself. You do it you, all the time too. I know, but like month of gore. Sorry, like you back, played the first twenty minutes of Red Dead Redemption. Back, back in the day, month of gore was like, oh, you're doing something every oh, day. You're, you're about, fucking. Oh, what? No, month oh, of you're talking about, oh, okay. I thought you said I want you to commit to a no, month. No, no, no. I'm saying month of gore. <laughs> like a month of just playing games or something. No, okay, no, 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 month... no, no, no. Month of gore. That's my, like you for, always for start hard. My, that's my month of horror shit. Did you never call it month of horror until we did, We just didn't call. Started calling month of gore and you just stuck with it. That's, that's good. I wanted I'm to keep. For your I, next I originally intro. called it month of horror. I, I I originally called it Gore's month of horror because I wanted to put the horror in there so people fucking knew what, knew what the fuck it was. But now you got it. Now you got a good ass. Horror. Now you got a good ass uh, opening for every video so that way people know what horror really is. <laughs> fast one. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen Chris's uh, month of gore uh, intros, go watch those. Yeah, they're pretty good. I put a, a compilation of all of them up. Aside from last year's. Well, that one you can just watch in any of the videos I put. Uh, you can also for, hear about Gore's birthday at the beginning of a lot of his videos. Oh, oh yeah, that's weird. <laughs> My birthday. Uh, David, so I don't know what what Chris did once. He made a video once for his birthday. I didn't do anything. You no, know, for your birthday. I know, but I, I, what are you talking about? I didn't. I legitimately didn't do anything. I don't know what the fuck happened, but go ahead. He made a video for for his birthday, and for some reason. It. Just says it's my birthday. YouTube <laughs> retroactively added that as an intro to ever to like all of your first videos, right? I didn't even know you could do <laughs> that. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't even know you could do that. So how the <laughs> fuck did I do it? It's just <laughs> So now put, it, it, put it's videos in front of other videos. I had no it, idea you could do that. And put it in like all of my videos for the first couple of years of my YouTube. Yeah, so now if you look at any of it, it's just gorgeous starting out every video. Hey, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, birthday. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a good laughs> <intro. laughs> I'm not even that upset about it. It's just funny. <laughs> well, you were upset about it when you first learned about your what the fuck? Well, because it was just like out of nowhere. Like, what? <laughs> I, I, forget, I, I, I think I found that out too. I was looking at one of your older videos. I was like, what the fuck is this? Why why is your birthday thing starting? You're like, what are you talking about? I started clicking on it. was like, why is your birthday an intro for everything? It's like, we talk <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I got a comment of couple years ago <laughs> that was just like hey i watched two of your videos that were on different dates I could <laughs> say both of on two different dates i'm like <laughs> uh, multiple birthdays obviously I don't know two birthdays bro <laughs> it's uh, every day is my birthday bro <laughs> birthday 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 okay just, all right anyway. show what you got okay all right i got a one offer up pickup here uh it was a trio of pokemon games uh, sadly, it's none of the good ones. Uh, it's a bunch of Wii games. Uh, I got this for 13 bucks. So I got a good deal. Uh, Pokey Park Wii. That's the name of it. I guess there's a... Is there a different version? It's called Pokey Park Wii right on the front, like right on the cover art. So I'm uh, assuming that means there's another. Is there a DS one? Uh, maybe. I, I had no fucking idea. Know. That's weird. Anyway, it, it also came with Pokey Park 2. No Pikachu. Uh, I mean, he's there, but it's not called he's, Pikachu. He's just chilling. Bullshit. Not Pikachu's adventure this time. It's everybody's. And Pokemon Battle Revolution. So it's like Yo, forty dollars. That's a gross cover. It is pretty gross looking. Um, but I don't know what they did. I don't want to. But get the fuck out of here. Uh, I got the Lita Steel Book, of course. Oh, but yeah. uh, I spent too much money, bro. <laughs> like I've sold a bunch of those statues. Did you? And I was just like, I got all this fucking money. I'm gonna buy some. Shit. And I bought I bought some shit. What statues did you get? What was it? Did you make anything anything good on? I anyone? sold the two I, I sold the two Fallout ones. Uh, well, I, I'm sorry, I sold four uh, Fallout ones, but I sold the two uh, the the Pip Girl or whatever the fuck and the the, girl. the two girls. I sold that for like 120, both of those together. Uh, and I sold the the gun, the pistol, and the rifle. Uh, I didn't sell the. Uh, I didn't sell the uh, the May Snowball thing. So if you still want, I didn't uh, sell that. Be- I didn't. Why. If I didn't sell the laughing Batman thing. Too. Yeah, I still want that one. Okay, so uh, I didn't sell those, so those are still good. But I sold a bunch of stuff. I sold uh, what else did I sell? Uh, shit. Uh, I don't remember now. I sold say, those for sure. Those were the big money makers. That's why I'm gonna send I you the those. um, 
Captain America thing soon. Uh, okay. Also, yeah, no, I'll send I'll send it to you soon. I'll let you know when. Okay, cool, cool. Let me know. And uh, I don't know, but uh, I got me a lot of money, so I I decided I'm gonna buy some stuff I really wanted. And this one I actually hinted at last week uh, to David at least. I was just like. I think I'm going to get rid of that Figma for Reaper. The reason why is because I saw this for $60 on eBay. Oh, shit. <laughs> you fuck. That is gorgeous. <laughs> 60 bucks. Well, it was like $20 shipping. But still, this thing goes for like $150 still. I'm, I'm upset. So, and it came up with the box, too. The box. No, I, I, I just... Shit. If I saw another one, I would have told you about it, but this bitch is mine. And that's kind of why I told you about the uh, yeah. Mass Effect one. I was really, I don't, I shouldn't have spoiled that. It's my fault. Well, it but, um, uh, but anyway, because uh, I felt kind of bad because I knew you would want this too, but I wanted this. <laughs> it's, it's, I love this. It's so good looking. Too. I just the love the idea came. that you two could have potentially gone into a bidding war with each other. It was a, it was a buy it now, to be fair. But, uh, oh, gotcha. there, there's, a buy it, there's a buy it now from China for 20 bucks. I think I'll get it. I'm sure they'll look good. I, that's probably one of those. Uh, is it the one that has like the the fire around them? No, let me let me send this to you really quick. It looks exactly like yours. Oh really? Well, I, buy might, it. I might just I might just buy it. You got, you got a good deal. Yeah, <laughs> go. let, me, let me see. Uh, you got it, it's like falling apart. <laughs> it's like... Uh, let me, let me yeah, send this to you really quick before we move on. Just because I want you to at least look at that one. Yeah, this, topic. this thing. Yeah, that's sick. a good ass bitch. Take these off. Oh, his arm. This off. There you go. Uh, Chris, you look, look, look at that new Ruby chat. It's weird. Now it looks like Mega yeah. Man. He looks like Mega Man. <laughs> I was just about to say he's Mega Reaper now. Reaper man. All right. Let me see. I don't have Facebook open because it makes noises. And I don't like noises. Oh, and just because I forgot to show off the box for my Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Oh, here you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had the box for Reaper. It came with it, but uh, I already put it away because I was. I had to. I had to start moving some shit because I have too much. And that one, like, was like the perfect fit for this corner right here. You guys can't see. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can already tell you that it's not exactly the same because uh, here's the base of this one. So. Oh shit. <laughs> that doesn't look too bad for twenty dollars though. It's, all, it's also a, it's also a zero uh, feedback person. Oh yeah, maybe uh, it's just, yeah. It, it's one of those Chinese knockoffs. So the Chinese knockoffs are actually pretty good sometimes. <laughs> I shouldn't say all the time, but uh, some of them are pretty good. Like I, uh, a lot of the obviously the Dragon Ball stuff. I mean, that stuff is so widely uh, I don't know, available that I guess they get the uh, mo the not the models. What do you call it? I guess the template for uh, the that w that was a buy it now. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I it just popped up because I have a I have a bookmark for st like video game statues and stuff too and figures. How do you do that? So I went on it immediately. What do you mean? Oh wait, what do you what do you mean? How do you bookmark that? Oh, I just I, I search it up on eBay and then I take that uh, thing and I bookmark it that, that page. Oh, uh, like Overwatch statue bookmark. and then go back on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So I go back to it. So yeah, I, I keep an eye on it. I mean, I haven't seen any real good deals besides that one. That's a good but, idea. Uh, that was a good idea. Yeah. Um. I should say he wants seventy. I offer sixty, so I should say that. Yeah. He fucked My, up. He should have fucking yeah. charged. <laughs> I, even, I even I even I even told him, hey man, I don't have enough money for it, which at the time I didn't. So I was like, please accept it. And then I sold a bunch of statues, and then I bought more shit. So it's that I got. I actually got this the day after the podcast. So nice. So I was hoping I would get it for the podcast, but I didn't. But anyway, there you go. Uh, I also for the, got uh, Genji sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that snowball thing because I I don't like it. So <laughs> I was actually excited for that too. I was like, I don't even like May, but I like her snowball thing. I like her short. It was cute. And then I got it. I was just like, this thing's fucking stupid. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I think you're gonna feel the same way, Adrian. If you get it. So anyway, like this snowball. one, this one I had to get because it's one of my favorite underrated games. Uh, and this is a really rare statue. Uh, and when I mean rare, I don't really mean valuable. I just mean it, 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 they only had 250 of these. Hmm. And I saw one person selling it. And I was like, yo, I have the money. Now. I got to get it. I, I, I just sold something. And immediately, I was like, I ain't going to get it. So I got this monkey statue from Enslaved. Nice. Oh, nice. Right there. That's like, they don't, they, they didn't make too many, obviously. This fucking, the staff is really annoying. But, uh. It's really nice looking, and it's, uh, I think, 185. I have the base here. 
Let me see. 185 of 250, yeah. So, I don't know. How, much was, how much was that Hanzo statue going for? I don't know. I have no clue, actually. But uh, I got the Reaper one. 175. Yeah. Yeah, uh, if you uh, if you get the Hanzo one cheap, I'll trade you for the Reaper. One. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I got that monkey one. Here's the box too. I, I, I have the box for this. This is a very generic looking box. It's just black. Yeah, yeah but who cares? I know. I really wanted that. And this one I've been wanting for like a, a solid year. I'm glad I I had money for it, and uh, I got this big bitch right here. Nice. So you traded out, you sold your statues for a bunch of other statues. For, for other statues. <laughs> that you already yeah. didn't have room for. Yeah. I made room. That's for sure. There you go. Oh, and, she, uh, she's, she's salty too. Hell yeah. Here she is. There you go. Oh yeah. Too much. I spent too much money. I like Bioshock, by the way. If you couldn't tell. Oh, they were like, too. yeah, yeah. He he got the timeline completely right <laughs> at one time. <laughs> so I, that goes with. I have another Elizabeth statue. They made other statues for Bioshock Infinite. I would buy them, but they only make Elizabeth ones. And sometimes they make a Big Daddy one that's like fucking. There's one they have is like seven hundred dollars. I'm like, fuck out of here. With that. <laughs> but um, yeah. Anyway, there you go. That's uh, that's all I got. I had to get all those ready because they weren't right here. That's why it took me a minute to uh, get back on. So anyway, Good that's shit. it. All right. Okay, Reaper. Time code's gonna be weird. It's, it's a very cool. weird. This is a very weird uh, hall of statues. The uh, monkey from Enslaved, a game nobody remembers. <laughs> Reaper and Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. Another game no one remembers. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I was going to have sold a lot of copies, to be fair. So. All right. And then let me have this last thing out here. I came with the barrel of salt that you made a joke about. Here you go. Yeah. That's what uh, DSP needs this right here. Actually, no, he's got plenty of this. Came right. Pro Jared's off. swimming in that. There you go. Who, Pro Jared? Yeah, that's right. Pro Fogel. There you go. Salts, salts. All right, yeah, salts. We're doing we're doing trivia, but it's not gonna be a a big one this week. What? Um, I gotta figure out what I want to do with this. Cause last week I, I I fucking let low I let, I let loose all for David to get one point, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that that didn't work out. What a uh, I just got a another sporkle quiz. Uh, ten random pieces of trivia. They're fucking out there and it's gonna be some bullshit but uh oh well so it's gonna be just 10 questions okay so whoever wants to go first i'll go first all right oh, <laughs> you should have spoke up i thought he'd just say me <laughs> be a fucking gentleman for once all right listen here you sack shit you had an entire fucking 30 billion fucking question long chance of going first <laughs> Yeah, but that was all for you, though, because <laughs> you suck. So, whatever. <laughs> all right, whoever gets whoever gets most gets a point. If there's a tie, we're going to figure out something on the fly. Wait, we'll I thought he out. got two points last week. He, 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 got, the last... he got two, but you got one. So, essentially, uh, uh, he, he yeah, got yeah. one point. I, he did get two points, technically. Yeah. Don't but... give him credit. All right. All right. All right, ready? Yep. Question number one. In Pokemon Sun and Moon, Mimikyu's ability to disguise lets it do what? A. Change its t its typing to the opponents. B. Take a hit freely. C. Disguise as another Pokemon in the party. D. Allow it to switch before taking a hit. Uh, the third one. Disguise as another Pokemon in the party? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna. Oh, it's not gonna tell me until afterwards, I guess. Okay. What's the name of the protagonist in GTA 3? A. Claude. B. Tommy. C. Nico. D. Ray. <laughs> Claude. Okay. 
question three. In Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, what is the name of the black and white teddy bear? A. Nanokuma. B. Monokuma. C. Momokuma. D. Numokuma. Numokuma. Why not? Numokuma? Yeah, they're all about the Numa Numa dance. Okay. Question four. Which of these names is one are one of Tom Nook's nephews? A. Tony. B. Timothy. C. Tommy. D. Tyler. Timothy. All right. Question five. Which of these robot masters does not appear in Mega Man 2 for the NES? A. Heat Man. B. Wood Man. C. Crash Man. D. Shadow Man. Shadow Man. All right. Question six. As of 2017, what is the latest King of Fighters game called? King of Fighters 16, King of Fighters 8, King of Fighters 17, King of Fighters 14. 14. Okay. Question 7. Which of these belong in the list? Altair Ibla Ahad, Ezio Auditori, the Florenzi, <laughs> fuck, uh, Ratone Kation. What is this moon speaker <laughs> screaming at me? God, I fucked that up. All right, anyway. Is it A, Cannon Tokon, C, or B, Shea Patrick Cormac, C, Alois La Touche, D, Abu E. Nukuid? <laughs> am, am, am I supposed to guess which one of these is like an assassin or some which shit? Which of these belong in the list? I don't know. Uh, the first one. Why not? You want me to read them off again? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question eight. In League of Legends, who is also known as the the Thunder's Roar? A, Sejuani. Oh. B, Janna. C, Volibear. D, Ivern. Volibear. Question nine. In Clash Royale, what is the final arena called? A, Champions Arena. D, or B, King's Arena. C, Legends, Legendary Arena. D, Clash Arena. First one. Champions Arena? Sure. Okay. Last question. In Final Fantasy VI, parentheses 3, USA, what is Shadow Dog's name? A. Angelo. B. Umbra. C. In Interceptor. D. Kogoro. Interceptor. All right. Do you want to know how you did it? Let's wait. Let's wait and let's see. Uh... All right. Another one up. All right, let's wave Chris back. <laughs> All right. All right. Pretty fucked up quiz, but let's see how you do. <laughs> okay. There's one question I, mean... I, I can't even fucking say, but we'll see. <laughs> there's, only, there's, only, there's only 10 questions, though, so... Okay, I mean, I think you're right. Not gonna tell you. I didn't even tell him, so... Oh, okay. We'll, we'll walk it through. All right. First up. Which of these robot masters does not appear in Mega Man 2 for the NES? A, Shadow Man. B, Wood Man. C, Heat Man. D, Crash Man. I don't fucking know anything about Mega Man. Say him again. Shadow Man, Wood Man, Heat Man, Crash Man. Those all probably are real, right? Those are all real. You can answer that. Come on. It's not the the answer isn't which one is fake. Which, which one's one not, not in Mega Man Two? Mega Man Two. Yeah, those are all probably real. Let's say Woodman. That's probably in there though. I don't fucking know. I don't play Mega Man. I don't give a shit. Okay. And Final Fantasy VI, parentheses three, um, USA. What is Shadow's dog's name? A. Umbra. B. Kogoro. C. Angelo. D. Interceptor. Say the question again. In Final Fantasy VI, what is Shadow's dog's name? A. Umbra. B. Kogoro. C. Angelo. D. Interceptor. Never played Final Fantasy VI. Umbra sounds familiar, though. I'll say Umbra, I guess. I don't know. I don't All right. know. Question three. As of 2017, what is the latest King of Fighters game called? King of Fighters 16, King of Fighters 14, King of Fighters 8, or sorry, King of Fighters 7, or King of Fighters 13? I think 14, right? Wasn't 14 the latest one? 14. All right. So you got to tell us. Question four. Huh? 
In Clash Royale, what is the final arena called? A. King's Arena. B. Clash Arena. C. Legendary Arena. D. Champions Arena. The fuck is Clash Royale? It's a mobile game. The biggest one. <laughs> okay. Say it again. The, 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 the... King's Arena, Clash Arena, Legendary Arena, Champions Arena. Which is the final one? I'll say Champions Arena. Sounds like some bullshit. Generic okay. shit. Question five. Which of these names are one of Tom Nook's nephews? A. <laughs> Tony. B. Tyler. C. Tommy. D. Timothy. <laughs> Fucking Tom Nook. I don't play these dumb games. As, as, say the answers again. Tony, Tyler, Tommy, Timothy. It could be any of them. Fucking who cares? <laughs> Timothy. Fuck it. That sounds like a kid name. All right. Tyler Four. does too, but Timothy sounds like a really... Question six. Timothy. In Pokemon Sun and Moon, Mimikyu's ability to disguise lets it do what? A. Changes typing to the opponents. B. Disguises another Pokemon in the party. C. Allow okay. it to switch before taking a hit. D, take a hit freely. I think it's the second one. Wait, wait, say the first two. Changes typing to the opponents or disguise as another Pokemon in the party. Disguise as another Pokemon, I think. Because doesn't he like disguise into Pikachu and he looks like he looks garbage or whatever? I'm gonna say that garbage. one. All right. In League of Legends, who is also known as who is also known as the Thunder's Roar? A, Volibear. B, Sejuani. C, Janna. D, Ivern. <laughs> League of Legends, really? <laughs> Say them all again, the names. Volibear, Sejuani, uh, Janna, Ivern. Say Janna. Oh. Janna. Don't know any of them. All right. In Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc, what is the okay. name of the black and white teddy bear? Monokuma. All right. <laughs> well, if you said that with such conviction, I probably got that one wrong. <laughs> what is the name of the protagonist in GTA 3? Oh, Claude. Hey, probably got that one right then. All right, God, fuck well, it. All right, which of these does not belong in the list? <laughs> Altier Ibla Ahad, Ezio okay, Auditori De Ferenci, Rotona Hakantian. I'm sorry, what? I don't know what the fuck that name is, brother. Yeah, you have a problem there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which of these does not belong in there? Or which belongs in it, sorry. Just say Altairis from Assassin's Creed 1, okay. Altair, and then Etio, is, Etio I don't know what the fuck that Adi- last name Adi- is. Adi- Auditori? Auditori. Uh, Auditori. The last one is R-A-T-O-N-H-N-H-A-K-E. Uh, oh, he's, T-O-N. I think he's, wait, is his name Balak or something like that? Oh, say Balak. Wait, Balak. say it again. Raton Nahaki Tone. Okay, what's the, what's the last one? That is the last oh. one. Oh, you just said three. I'll, no, yeah, he just well, no, said but, but I'm saying, fast. No, I'm saying which one. Oh, he's saying, you're saying. That's the question. All right, say that. Uh, which of these belongs in this list, of this list, of this list, of Altier, Ezio, and Raha, whatever the fuck? But there's only three. Because the, the answers are A, Shea, Patrick, Cormac, B, Aloy, La Touche, <laughs> oh, I get you. What belong? Okay, okay, okay. Thank All you. right, it's the answers. Okay, it's like I thought you were an- re- reading the answers. I was like, no. what the fuck? Which the of list? these belongs? I, in? I thought it was pretty much. I thought the question was going to be just like, no, which, which one is, of these yeah. are Assassin's Creed? No. Which one of these don't belong? Which I was going to immediately say the third one. No, that guy, that guy that guy's that in a fucking. I don't know. The fuck. I don't um, know which one he's in. A, you know, I bet he's probably. Uh, he's probably in the origins because I don't know. Anyway, a go. Shea Patrick Cormac B Alloys La Touche Touche. I didn't have the fucking e at the end. Uh. C. Canon Tokon. D. Abu no Nukoid. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't play more Which one of three. these does belong, right? Yes. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's the third one's probably Connor from Assassin's Creed 3. Okay, so. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Can I read him again? Yeah, please. No, Shea, it's right. Pat- <laughs> Shea, Shea Patrick Cormac. B. Alo- Alois Latouche. D or C, uh, Canon Tokon, and D, Abu Nukoid. I'm going to say, I think it's asking timeline wise. That's what it sounds like. I'm going to say, I, I, yeah, I know you're not, but which one of these belong? But the, that, I'm going to say uh, Shay, the first yeah. one. I think because I think his is set before Assassin's Creed 4, I think. I never played Rogue. Anyway, good. Right, that's what you So said. let's let's go through it. Let's, let's just see how we all did. 
That's probably wrong, but whatever. Yeah. I couldn't tell what the fuck you were saying. <laughs> in, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, Mimikyu's ability to disguise lets it do what? You guys both said disguise is another Pokemon in the party. The actual answer is take a hit freely. Oh, okay. I thought that was his thing that you like disguise as Pikachu or some shit. I don't know. Fuck it. Uh, I, I never played Sun and Moon. Maybe that's not. Maybe that's not his ability. That's just a thing he does. Oh, good. Let's see. Uh, which of these names are one of Tom Nook's nephews? Tony, Tommy, Timothy, Tyler. I think you both said Timothy, right? I said Timothy at least. Yeah, you I both did, said Timothy. Sir. The actual answer is Tommy. Yeah, Timothy sounded like the most kid name. It did. Timothy. Like... All right. In League of Legends, who is also known as the Thunder's Roar? Uh, Gore, you said Jana. David, you said Volibear. The answer, actual answer is Volibear. Okay. Dang and Rapa Trigger Happy Havoc was the name of the black and white teddy bear. Uh, David, you said they all like Numa Numa, so Numo Kuma. Uh, then Gore, you said Mono Kuma. The actual answer is Mono Kuma. I have a, I have a bear of him somewhere. I don't know. I do like too. Stuff there. And somewhere. I don't know where the yeah. fuck it is either. You, you a fake motherfucker. Did you play a game? No. Play a little bit. Okay. All right. Never mind. You play a little bit of it. Yeah. I play a little bit. I, I, I just downloaded them all again on my game really last good. week, though. So I'm going I'm to play really, them all. It's really good. I still have to finish the... Well, I have to start the third one. But I got completely, like, taken aback when I heard I have to read... I mean, read or watch two fucking animes. I'm like... Oh, yeah, that's um, okay. I need, I need you to have to... Yeah, do you have to, to understand what the fuck's going on? But anyway, good. I'm going to look at those while we're doing news. Uh, what is the name of G- the protagonist in GTA 3? You guys both said Claude. That's correct. Mm-hmm. In Clash Royale, what is the final arena called? I think you both said Champions Arena, right? I said Clash. You said Clash Arena... Gore, you said Champions Arena. That's probably right, because of Clash Arena, fucking, but I said Champions. The actual answer is Legendary Arena. In FF6, what is Shadow's <laughs> dog's name? Uh, Gore, you said... Umbra. Uh, Umbra, because Umbra. that sounded familiar. Dave, you said Interceptor. The actual answer is Interceptor. Okay. Well, he probably played fucking Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, damn good I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have it when I was a kid, because I was poor. As a I, man suplexing a train, how can you not love it? <laughs> I, I, I didn't say I wouldn't love it, but thanks for spoiling it. All right. As of 2017, <laughs> what's latest King of Fighters called? You guys both said 14. The actual answer is 14. Yeah. He's going to win. So gonna Which win. of these does not belong on the list? I'm not going to read those fucking names again. The actual answer is Shay. Oh. But who said who, who said what? You said Shay. He said... Oh, so we're tied. Else. He just said okay. whatever A was. He didn't want me to read it again. Okay. So, so we're tied. Uh, yeah. Yes. Into the final answer, or final question is which of the robot masters does not appear in Mega Man 2? I got or you said wrong. you said Woodman, David, you said Shadow Man. The actual answer is Shadow Man. Yeah. So David, I don't you know. win by one Mega point. Man. I'll take it. There you go. Bullshit ass fucking quiz. <laughs> Dumb <laughs> quiz. <laughs> Dumb quiz. It was uh, you guys were up, up, up one point. Over. I got the I got the impressive answers. <laughs> All right, so David, now you are now one and a half points behind Gore. Hell yeah! Ooh, can't wait for my revenge round. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should you should just start tanking your own points on on purpose. Uh, oh no! <laughs> All right, we're getting to uh, getting the news now. Let me pull this up here. Uh, let's see what goes up here. And while I format that, we'll start the first one. What's up, Gore? Just waving. All right. The first one we'll talk about while I'm getting everything formatted is a new Overwatch hero showed up. Yeah, Sigma. Oh Unfortunately, I hate that fucking name. Hey, 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 Ligma. Fucking, it's one of those things that Ligma. they went with Sigma, and he even kind of looks a little bit like fucking Sigma from Mega Man, so it's just kind oh, of yeah, a it's weird actual Sigma. setup. It's like, what are you talking about? Hey, Ligma. Get it? But no, uh, I'm happy to have another tank to play, uh, just because I always like some variety in that. His kit looks kind of interesting, but I don't know, it'll be one of those things that it'll be better to kind of see what it's like in actual practice. Uh, yeah, yeah. His, his ultimate looks kind of fucking broken right now. No. Um, because it, it, Not automatic, that broken. it automatically wins you the fucking point whenever you're, you're doing uh, um, escort. Yeah, Oh, just that too. It lifts, have an objective. It, it, it lifts you up, and you can't touch the ground again. I know, but objective is the same thing too, right? I, mean, I, would I guess, assume, right? But, but the thing is with that with Sigmas is you can actually over over the cart, 
as opposed right, to where, like the whole point in 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 control is you can kind of probably get away from that still yeah no, i guess um, so it looks kind of busted in that form so unless you're in a over overtime then you can't you have to be on the fucking objective as i'm saying is it, it will pick you up in your i know that's what i'm saying objective and payload the same thing but like objective you're not you're or you're gonna be on the objective during overtime or you're gonna fucking lose it so. right but but what, what i'm saying that? is the actual like area He's yeah, no, I guess it, cart. Yeah, I've seen game. I've seen the gameplay. Yeah. yeah, I've seen people do that too. And uh, so it's it's now called. What is it, it called? PTR. People are yeah. calling it. People are calling it the Sig Nine now. They're they're gonna nerf that a little bit. There's no way they're not. I, I don't think it's really that much worse than like say fucking Zy result just because of the fact that you just point it before they get there and it's effectively holding them in place doing the same thing. But there's a little bit of skill with Zarya because you have to know exactly where to put it and you have to time it a little bit better. Isn't this one just like fucking... Poof. The thing is right now is it's not... You know, it's not the they, they, they want it to be as telegraph as Doomfist, but I feel like it's a little bit faster than Doomfist. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not It's not even close to as shitty as Doomfist is. Doomfist isn't too bad. The thing is because you can no, it's not, it's not that always bad. get at least one kill with it. Yeah, sure. You can at least get one kill with it, sure. But I feel like Doomfist is just like... He screams it to the top of his lungs. It takes 25 minutes for him to land. I'm just like, unless they're, like, stuck or they're really not paying attention to you, which I Doomfist people, of course, you play Doomfist I'll, now. But Doomfist people flank a lot now. But when Doomfist was originally out, people didn't really flank with him and shit. So they would just charge in, you know what I mean? Right. So I'll, I'll, never, I'll never get that achievement. That achievement's fucking I mean, Unless stupid. it's Zarya. I'll play, you know, I'll play more Zarya. I've I've been trying yeah. to I've been trying to get the uh, junk rat and the Han. I did, I still don't have the Hanzo one. I want to play more Zarya actually. That one I want to. I love Zarya. She's getting yeah. a buff too, so hopefully she'll be better. Right. In our, Perfect. Our stuff. Um. But yeah. So we got that, and then that was uh, there was a whole. Uh, Jeff was talking a lot with. Um, yeah, I didn't watch Seagull. the uh, development update. So. Oh, he was talking a lot with the streamer named Seagull. Yeah, I saw of... some clips of that where he's just like talking about like. Is it was at the time where he was uh, like was that. Before they announced Sigma, where he's talking about, like, oh, I don't know After. who Sigma is. All right, okay. Um, so, apparently, some of Sigma's stuff was supposed to be from a different hero. Okay. Um, but they kind of just melded him into that. The, the hero that they were talking about, I guess, was a long rumored hero where it was a... Uh, Starts with like M, Some right? sort of, like, berserker. Uh, Maga? Magu? Maga, yeah. People are still saying, he, he's coming. Yeah, Maga, yeah, Oh, dude. he's coming. There you go. Umaga? That's, your, that's, your, that's your main. Trump Cena. Maga. Umaga? Umaga? No, I'm saying Maga uh, for Trump Cena. Uh, oh, Maga. Uh, no, uh, uh, apparently uh, the, the whole thing was uh, that, uh, uh, the, whole, the whole thing is that he's supposed to be some berserker, like goes fucking nuts on everyone. Um, supposed to have like double rockets as like hand cannons and stuff like that. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the people are still saying he's coming. Yeah, no, Jeff so. also said that he's coming still. Yeah, that's why that's why I heard it from. Yeah, so he said that he's he's right now. They said there is still two years worth of heroes planned. Um. I assume we're getting, they said, and uh, the guy that helped create Sigma, uh, that's his first hero that he helped create with Jeff. Uh, the last thing he helped create was uh, the Torbjorn rework. Um, and he's, he said that he's also working on a DPS and healer right now. Uh, um, I assume that healer is the one that we saw in the McCree. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because we always said, the, they, they said that, right? The robot that, girl? Yeah, they said, yeah, well, she's, she's not playable. coming yet. But, like, I mean, coming. yeah, we, we're going to see her. Um, I'm gonna guess BlizzCon. So that, Blizz, that so actually that, 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 we're gonna perfect, talk more. Right? We're gonna talk about that BlizzCon stuff and bullshit. Spoilers. Well, we'll we'll, t- we'll talk about BlizzCon though. I mean, uh, they'll definitely talk about it at BlizzCon because I feel like that would be perfect if they have an animated short and they just like Which, introduce her. Or... I will say that is that they're also hinting that uh, Sigma's gonna be the one with the anima- animated short, or if not, he's gonna be the one heavily involved in the next one. Because I'm like, interested. In this, they're apparently super fucking story. excited. Yeah, they're like, "This is our favorite hero that we made stuff for." So yeah, his his backstory seems very interesting. Uh, With the whole fucking split personality. I wish like, I the, wish he had some of the music stuff involved in the actual design of the character, though. Yeah, like, that you mentioned, also, you mentioned it that he he he's cool to play as, but he's kind of boring like personality wise, like at, at yeah. the end of the game because like Blizzard's been like able to like knock the tone of every single character pretty well. You look at Junkrat. Junkrat's always fucking jumpy and jittery yeah well even when he's like standing still he's always like jittery and yeah and stuff you look at just the regular animations if you're just standing around they're always doing something that like coincides well, with the their fact personality that he doesn't really do anything but i kind of wish he had some of the music stuff that, that they had yeah I, I would i would really like i'm not sure if he, he does this but like if you stand still you, you just hear him like argue with himself because it seems like he has like a split personality thing i'm assuming 
Uh, that's what the the origin story made me think. Right? Yeah. So that would be cool if they added that. I'm not sure if they did. I haven't watched anybody just stand around at Sigma or anything. So, right. uh, but, uh, but uh, everybody does something. Like if you just stand around for a long enough time, they do little animations and stuff. So. Uh, yeah. So we'll we'll, we'll see. But uh, we're gonna talk more about Overwatch in the bullshit section. So we'll uh, unless you guys have anything else to say about Sigma. We don't have. No, uh, I yet. I really like his shield. I like all of his abilities. His all his abilities. I mean, <laughs> that's the he's gonna be a he's gonna be a fucking he's hard be god annoying master. As shit. He's gonna be he's gonna be hard. Yeah, when he first comes out, he won't be. I don't think because there's gonna be a lot of people trying to figure him out. Obviously, you could say that for anybody. We're gonna get um, fucked up by obviously. one sigma. It's gonna piss me off. I it's gonna it's gonna be really fucking annoying later on though when they're really good with him. It's gonna be like you're fucking U.S. Farah. You, oh, you, Farah, I think you're Farah, Farah gets up. shut the fuck down. Like not yeah, even, not wait, even especially kills. your old your old will yeah, get then, fucked yeah, with the shield. Yeah, he's gonna fuck me up with that, and then he absorbs everything. Yeah, uh, he absorbs he absorbs, he absorbs um. Absorbs. Uh, apparently, Farah's ult is the strongest in the game. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, close enough, I guess. And it straight just absorbs that for 800 shield. I mean, Diva's does too. To but no, Diva can yeah, outlast now. Yeah, it can outlast. You're right. Yeah, no. So like, originally it could. No, yeah. but then people said yeah. fuck that, and so now Diva can't. But uh, yeah. So that, so Farah isn't gonna have a good time, which kind of sucks because uh, said from Ash, she's been pretty good about all these DLC characters just kind of fucking them up. So. GG's right. on that. But uh, Doomfist fucks enough, so I'm starting to get Doomfist down. Right. Uh, Doomfist is a fucking weird-ass character, but I'm liking him a little more, more than I play him. I still can't get into him. I, dude, I, I hate him when he first came out, and I tried him every now I really and then. liked him when I first came out, but I was just like, I started to move away from him. Yeah, I never got him, and then uh, just lately, it's because he's been play, he played a lot in the Overwatch League lately, and I've been kind of seeing how people have been playing him. He's definitely a flank character, kill someone, dip out, and I've been, I know that. I never get it, because I'm always fucking in the air. I hear my team half the time, fucking Doomfist, piece of shit. I fucking hate Doomfist. And I look yeah. down from the air, I see Doomfist just punch someone in the, in the thing and just dip. I'm like, all right, all right, maybe I'll try that. And then I've been trying that. It's pretty, it's pretty funny. All right. Funny. I think, I think we've all, I think, no, not, I'm not even gonna say we all actually. You and me only have been, have been experimenting with other characters. Right. Yeah. 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 Everyone else has been playing. Lucio, I'm playing as now. You ain't playing. Uh, Hawk. I want to play Zarya. I, I, for a, a solid like week, I was playing a lot of uh, Ana, but that I, I stopped. Honestly, because every time Brick I'm Cat. playing as a healer, I'd rather be either. Ana is a fucking Cal nightmare Lucifer. with anyone yeah, that is. does not play coordinated. Yeah, yeah. Um, and honestly, me playing Bricket, uh, Bridget, uh, Bridget. I hate is, when uh, everyone fucking says her name wrong. Bridget, Bridget, Bridget. Look, that's why Brigitte. I always just call her fucking Brickhead. Brigitte. 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 <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Brigitte, 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 Brigitte. I normally don't play her at all, but so the only times I play actually really play her is when I'm playing with you guys. Which I'm shocked right. that she's also a character that kind of needs everyone to sit together. Yeah. Um, hey, aren't they going to nerf her? I mean, not nerf her. No, they're, they're buffer. buffing her. Yeah, they're, buffer. they're buffing buffer. or reworking her because uh, now with 2-2-2 gone, she's not, as, she's not nearly a threat as she was. So uh, so they can kind of right. buff her up because before, uh, before the 3-3 three, three meta showed up, she was garbage. Like right. she she fucked up the casuals because they they hit the stun, but fucking like she had no purpose. So they had they had the buffer, which is ironic. Um. Yeah, so I, it's funny that I, th I think you and I are the kind of ones that are kind of branching out a little bit more and doing other stuff. Everyone else kind of playing the same shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm trying to play more. Like I, even characters I I don't play that much anymore. I I'm trying to get back into like McCree. I didn't play I'm, that I'm much. I'm trying so. I'm trying to just flex my my DPS heroes, which is funny because I was I talked some DPS heroes, but I know that if we do two 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 lock, I'm gonna be stuck on DPS a bit every now and then. Yeah. So yeah. I've been trying to flex different heroes in case like Farah doesn't work out. So I've been doing that, doing Genji a bit more, which is weird. I've been starting to get the hang of him more though. Um. The Junkrat, I, I never played Junkrat, even though I get him, but I just never really play as him, so I'm playing him more. Just I'm just trying to knock out all the DPS heroes, trying to get them all working and going. Um, cause yeah, I, I think healers are the ones I kind of don't know too much. Like, I could play, everyone could play Mercy. Um, Moira, who's going to also, who's also getting a buff that's going to, that, that pisses <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> it's a um, ridiculous buff. For a yeah. character that's already, I think, overpowered, but not really overpowered, but she has a low skill uh, ceiling. Where... Usually, when I play as her, I, I either have silver or golden damage. You, well, the reason why is because specifically because I'm in, good in quick play, especially without a diva that knows what they're doing, and especially because it's always DPS heroes, right? You throw your orb in there, and they they can't get away from it, so you're just getting free damage, sure. and they have to heal up again from that. It, it's so, sure, that's but I was, I was thinking. 
I was thinking more competitive. Like a competitive, I, I, I every time I play competitive, just to get my uh, the uh, placements, I play more because nobody ever fucking picks healer. So, uh, and that's when I, I get a lot of I get a lot of damage. I might not get gold in the, in kills, but I got a lot of damage. And that's when they should be, you know. Thank you, me. Thank me. No, no. That's when they should be really coordinated <laughs> and fucking right. competitive. I'm, I'm super excited for teach you. The more I hear about it, I'm just like, ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I've been fucking wanting that for months now. <laughs> fucking hell yeah. I, I just, Let's go. Just, the more I play with randoms and just fucking, uh Yeah, see? All Let's right. go. Let's go. Let's two, go. two, two, baby. I want uh, it. More people are getting into the game too now. It's been funny. It's been it's been getting a research lately. So a bunch of streamers have been uh, have been coming back from like Fortnite or Apex stuff and going back to Overwatch just like now. Minecraft. Minecraft got a resurgence recently. So Did it? like a huge yeah. resurgence actually. <laughs> like really big. It was like number one for a solid couple weeks again on Twitch, which it it was like top ten. I miss, I miss Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft's fun. I'm playing Builders 2 right now though, so I don't need I don't need more of that shit. That's pretty much exactly what Builders right now is. All right. Except with more story, obviously. Next one is stated details revealed. Google assumes ISP will increase data caps to make customers happy. It will not be a Netflix for games. Um, it will not be a, a Netflix for games. The only thing that could have been cool about the thing is not the thing. See, so I feel like get... people have been bitching about that though, but. Uh, the ISP thing is interesting. I'm I'm inclined to say it's not true, but I feel like it has to be true, because the thing is is uh the only the only stance that we have before that is um or text. Remember back in the day, text would always cost like however much. Like you have to get a limited text, yeah. and that's not a thing. People just you just get a limited text, and that's just a thing now. Uh, I feel like data caps need to fucking go up soon. Yeah. Well, I, honestly, the more accurate comparison for a modern time would be Netflix and the shit that went on with that. I mean, there are still companies that fill, uh, still fight over fucking what happens with Netflix with streaming. I don't honestly think that this Stadia venture is going to suddenly go ahead and kind of provoke, ah, maybe we should start looking into raising these data caps. The infrastructure we have barely can even fucking handle what we do, let alone go ahead and raise fucking caps. Oh, our I, sh- I disagree. I feel like caps are so arbitrary and like not... A real thing to worry about they really are though it, the this infrastructure we have laid out across america is so fucking outdated it barely handles well, what we do some though for a, well for a lot of the country that's in the fucking especially like the rural areas it's it's garbage adrian i'm in a rural I area know, so that, that's you <laughs> hey, me and gore are living big right now dude i'm gonna test my speed right now just to fucking piss you off yeah me i too. mean i have these <laughs> Well, I have yeah. the best speed you can get in Maine. I should yeah, phrase it that way. You're doing speed okay. test right now. Yeah. Uh, the, best, the best speed you can get in Maine is the drone. Speed of dot me. I do speed test dot net. Nah, fuck that. You gotta do speed test. Uh, speed of me. Speed test dot net will just always ping the most uh, direct area, which doesn't actually give you a better test of latency over time. Okay. Uh, so speed of me will actually go. Do that. Well, yeah, because you want to go for a more accurate reading of it. Okay. So where wanna... where do you go? I go to speedof.me. Speedup.me? Speedof.me. .me. Or EM? Oh, why did it correct me to EM? What the fuck? There you go. It's weird. All right, let's see. All right, yeah, everybody give us a break. Or right, a second. Fuck off. No one's listening to this anyway. Start test. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so I have a max of 120, and I'm averaging about 98. Okay. For download. Waiting for it to finish. You have 120, and you're bitching about it? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> why? Why yeah, is this no. bigger? Why is this no, bigger but, than but yours? that was definitely like a lot. Like that, that was back when I was like first doing stuff. It was like 10. One. One. Ten down. <laughs> My my download speed is two twenty seven, uh, upload speed is one fifty four. Jesus, I, yeah, oh. mine's, mine's two hundred four down. Okay. How about what, speed? Your, your, uploads. Uh, thirty nine. Thirty nine. Damn. All right. Yeah. Oh, so from I get that podcast uh, my, up. <laughs> yeah, my test server is in Boston, and yeah, no, ah, uh, man, I wish my 
results are fucking bad. That's that's actually like pretty good. It's, it's good, but you know, I would gladly pay for what more. What are you doing? What are you doing with more? It's not the point of what am I doing with this. The point I want it. I want it. <laughs> Like I was, I honestly tried to switch over to Comcast because they were offering a 400 down, uh, 200 up package for a little bit here. Uh, but they legitimately had to stop doing it because they couldn't actually get it working. It it was impossible to even scratch those rates because the infrastructure is so fucking out of date here. And I actually live in a city by main standards. Fucking barely. (laughs) <laughs> you pass by you, you blink and you're fucking out of your town I've seen mud huts of better internet how do you feel it just make fun of your internet does that make you really yeah, I make sad? fun of my internet too I want it to be better oh you're supposed to be sad I made fun of it you oh. but I, uh, I was teased with 400 down 200 up and I couldn't get it oh, I'm sad I am I'm too I'm sorry your porn takes <laughs> two seconds longer to load Come on, man. I can see the money shot. Adrian, I have so many devices doing so many things. I fucking want all the internet. All Come the on, Bang 2. Work better. <laughs> just made up. Is that a real fucking I'm probably. That's, that's, not like... one, that's not one of the ones I used. Okay. Of the, of the <laughs> all right. What? Next story. Let me see. <laughs> the original Monster Rancher game is getting a modern port. Bang 2. Yeah, so I'm fucking excited for that. Monster Rancher and I go back a long time, uh, and as a video game, it was such a neat concept because <laughs> fuck you. But I don't. I don't. No, we we go way fun. back, <laughs> Monster Rancher. Fuck you. I don't. I don't get to have fun often. Let me have some fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> Monster Rancher it was a phenomenal concept of a game where it's like, okay, we're gonna go ahead and basically take like the concept of Pokemon, but add in a weird little twist of that. You could just fucking get them from CDs and shit. So like half the fun of that game was just like, all right, I got a bunch of fucking CDs laying around. What kind of weird fucking creatures am I going to get out of this goddamn game? Uh, whether it's like Swayzo, the giant fucking eyeball dude or fucking, uh, Mochi, the fucking pink little pangolin thing there. Uh, so many cool, weird creature monster designs and just a great and interesting gameplay mechanic. Something that hasn't really been replicated since. And something that I'm kind of curious to see how it'll be handled in a modern era. It hasn't been confirmed what platform it's going to be, but it's something that I really hope it does retain that kind of, Hey, go ahead and pop a random disc in and see what fucking creature it spawns out of it. Just because that, that, that was kind of half the fun of the game was just going through and finding essentially a new use for the shit you have laying around and uh, I I really think it is one of those things that would be a really great idea to revive alright next topic I've never played played Monster Rancher I I, I had the third one PS2 I never played it though I know the yellow guy with the eyeball that's it yeah Swayzo Swayzo there you go I'm I'm glad you're happy for once like you said no, I just wish your uploads and download speed was good enough to download that game, though. I agree. All right, yeah. next you up. Need, you need that 400, or you can't. I really do. Anyway. I don't need. Well, I don't need him. I no, really you need want it. it. I he, want the 400 no. down. Yo, he's he's like a crackhead. He's just, he needs it. It's like right. Tyrone Biggums. Next story is Sony Chappelle is Show. So he's now an official partner of Evo, uh, which also I'm gonna also For what? Piggy. What? What do they have? I don't know. Uh, I guess Street Fighter. I got Street Fighter, right? Sony, he said, right? Yeah, Sony. So I guess that's technically theirs, right? They didn't make Probably it, but it's theirs. Yeah. All right, sure. And it's because of the fact that pretty much all the fighting games are running on PS4s there. Wow. The only exception, so obviously. Bunch of fanboys. Smash. Yeah, bunch of freaking fanboys. Uh, Wait, what game's not running on a, a PS4? Smash. Uh, Smash, obviously. Uh, yeah. Smash. Smash. Yeah, the monster mash. Super, super mash bro, bros. Mo's. And then we'll come with some announcements uh, at Evo, which I imagine will probably have some Street Fighter announcements to go with it. And uh, a lot of people are joking, oh, maybe we'll get a uh, fucking PlayStation Battle Royale 2 or some shit like that. They have it. And if it does, I hope it gets canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also, no, actually, so, I, I would I would be down with a Super Smash Brothers Sony. <laughs> you know, I, I, I I've platinum that game like, twice. So once on Vita I and do, once on PS3. I do not. It like that game, should have. It's. It, you know what? I don't mind 
the concept. I hate yeah, that they, they just didn't straight up just copy, copy Smash Bros. Right? Just do it. Y'all, y'all were so close to doing it. I would have. I wouldn't. No one would have given a fuck. I think. I think at that point. At that point, yeah. No, that you did it, which sucked because that that, suck, that, that yeah. put straight. Up, that was a straight up like. It mattered yeah, who you maybe. played as. Yeah. Like not even like a tier list, but it was like. Who was the one that was the top? Was it Dante? Was Dante the yeah. one that was top? Kratos. I thought he was. Kratos, okay. Kratos. Kratos is broken. Uh, wasn't Dante up there? It wasn't Big Daddy up there, too? Dante was up there. Dante but, was pretty good. But there were some yeah. that were, like, messed up. Uh, I would always pick uh, Raiden. Because you can, you can right. kill three people right. with just your fucking level one. If you if you space it out right. And uh, so, yeah, that's all I did. That I, like, was the biggest flaw with that game, was just the whole concept of you had to kill with an ultimate. That, yeah, that was the dumb it, fucking thing. And uh, people want like, everyone already called it a Smash Bros. clone. Like, at that point, just go all out and just be a Smash Bros. clone. If y'all did it, we're right? good. Granted, I think now I think, is a much better time to have a Smash Bros. clone because I think now PS4 is definitely more refined in like what they can do. And, and there's now, already like but, five. Of them. But granted, now now Smash kind of just kicks the shit out of it, where it's like, oh, we got Cloud, you guys didn't. Oh, yeah. we we got a, we got Snake, you guys got Raiden. Yeah, well, to be fair though, I, I would be down with like uh, like Kratos uh, from the new game or <laughs> the boy. What's his name? I want Kratos, Kratos versus Joel. Boy, I want to see boy. <laughs> his name needs to be Boy too. They need to be like, Boy, need, they boy need be, versus Ellie. They need to be like Ice Climbers, oh. I think. The Kratos who's and the, and better, the Boy. Who's the better companion, Boy or Ellie? You tell me. Neither. Like, right. comment, and subscribe. Uh, like, next, comment, subscribe. Next story. Uh, That's the next death battle. Picking back off yeah. that is uh, the finals order for Eva was announced a couple days ago. It's, it's okay. next week, so that's fine. So it goes yeah. off that Friday. Soul Calibur starts, and it, Soul Calibur is going to start and end pretty much Friday. Yeah. Uh, so that's the first one that's going to be in and out. Uh, Saturday, it's going to be Unist, Dragon Ball Fighters, Sam Show, and Mortal Kombat 11 is going to be the final day on Saturday. Or final game on Dragon Saturday. Show? Samurai oh, Showdown. Samurai Show. Yeah, okay. Sam then, Show. <laughs> then Sunday. Sunday is pretty interesting, actually. Yeah. So it starts with Blast Blue, which everyone just knew it'd start with that one. Then the, the usually the fucking leader Street Fighter is the second game of the day, which that's always the the the. the is cap. it going to end with Mortal Kombat, or did you already say Mortal Kombat? Uh, Mortal Kombat you already no, said Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Mortal Kombat uh, cap so Saturday. Okay, you, okay, so it did end for Saturday. You went so by so quick. I, I, I all I heard was Sam Show. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, is so Sam Saturday is is Eunice, Eunice, Dragon Ball, Sam Show, and Mortal Kombat. Okay, okay. Uh, I might Sunday watch Mortal Kombat. Is Blaz Blue, Blaze Blue, uh, Street Fighter. Tekken and Smash is actually the the last game of, of Evo. Okay, yeah. that, that makes that makes sense considering it's still new. I see. Right? I disagree with that 100 percent actually. Well, it's I, new, so it makes sense to me. I, mean, I don't watch fuck Evo. So it, it, like, it, it, it's up in the I'll air. So, I don't know what the what the percentage of viewers and who's gonna actually be there to watch Smash. Smash is huge right now, but I think for the Smash, Smash Four, I think a lot of the fucking audience left. Uh, yeah. I even want to watch that game, but granted, no one want to watch that game at that point. But um, <laughs> that one ending, I would have 100% said Tekken. Tekken should have been the yeah. Tekken would have been the one I was gonna assume would have been the finale. But I'm actually honestly just glad to even see it on the final lineup day, let alone fucking next to last. That's just fantastic. God, you know, I and you, this coming from someone that like smashes like my game of the year last year and all that. Tekken should have fucking had Tekken is like yeah. Calling Tekken the fucking like what, what do they call it the. The high, the, what do they call it? like the highlight or the the premiere game or what do they call it? Yeah, something like that. We, we had we were talking about it last week, I think. I don't know. Uh, that would have been such yeah. a good fucking cap for for Tekken. Like that that game deserves it, I think. Um, but yeah. it's still good for Tekken though. That that's good. It has that slot there, and I'm super excited for that. That's I'm I'm more excited to watch that game 100. percent Oh, maybe that maybe this is why because everybody wants to see Tekken more. They are gonna announce a hot cause... for Smash. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's totally what I was gonna say. <laughs> it's just, no, uh, well, that's a good. That's a that's a good. That's a good. Uh, no, that's a good. <laughs> that's a good. That's, that's a good. good. Oh, that's a very good. <laughs> that's a spicy meatball. Well, hey, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, but no, uh, I was gonna say maybe that's what they more people are gonna show up for Tekken. You think, right? Because it's a little bit more bigger when it comes to Evo. No, uh, so more people are gonna watch Tekken. More people. That's what I meant. More people are more playing people Smash. Yeah, more people are definitely playing Smash. <laughs> there's, there's no com- competition. There's kids playing Smash. No kids playing Tekken. But uh, well, maybe I'm sure there's something. Uh, uh, Tekken, Tekken. They're gonna Smash stay. They're gonna stay there there for. Te- they're gonna watch Tekken and stay for Smash. But te- Tekken's actually still the only game to consistently grow year after year. And then they just announced, which doesn't sound as much compared to some other games. 
But Tekken 7 is now the highest selling in the, the franchise at $4 million. Which, that's impressive, honestly, for that's Tekken. Pretty that's pretty good. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, since we're here, let's talk about the That's final. the highest selling one? That, that beat the original? It beat Tekken 3. Wow, I thought Tekken 3 would have been like one of the top selling PS1 games or some shit, because I saw that everywhere. It is, it but is, it's but just... Tekken 7 it is? came in and just fucking Damn. said... I thought PS1 like sold a lot. No, I sold two. That's one. It only sold two copies? The uh-huh. PS1? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I have right, one. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me throw these uh, these attendance numbers to you. Okay. So, Blaze yeah, Blue, me. which let me, let me throw this out to you, David. Yep. Evo always wants an anime fighter last day to appease the Japanese audience. Don't we have two? Even this though is... I know that Dragon Ball Fighters doesn't qualify as an anime fighter, that should have been the anime fighter. That should have been the fucking anime fighter. Like, they, I'm sure they had fucking... last year. So anime fighters are specifically like a niche of like Guilty Gear, uh, uh Girls, <laughs> no, no, Guilty Gear, Skullgirls, Blaze Blue. That that's the anime fighter, and that's like a specific, like specific subgenre in fighting games. Yeah. But they they do that specifically to give the Japanese players something to watch on the final day. I feel like they should have made that Dragon Ball like that. They should have followed yeah, that I, to make that Dragon Ball. Like, I'm I, I really was... surprised to see the drop off for Dragon Ball. That really that's because yeah. of fucking that they fucked that up though. They so I don't know if you've been heard, have you have you been in tune with that where I, uh, I I heard they fucked up. I don't remember how they fucked up though. Because the I I heard about it last year where it was just like they weren't supporting it or something like yeah, that. So they the weren't pe- fixing the people, it. The people running the game like like the copyright owners are very fucking picky about streaming and like who what you can show off and where. And and they that that fucked it up because last year this game had fucking huge momentum. It was the second highest, it was, it was the highest attendee at. Evo, it was I the think, highest like. attending game last year. And it was like it was I think like second highest ever or something some weird like that. But it was nuts. And Grand if you movie. watch that, if you watch that Grand Finals, have I showed you that? I don't. That's I don't a remember. fun. You would like to watch that because the crowd. I don't, so, I don't like watching Dragon Ball but, Fighters because it's so fucking quick. I'm just like. Well, I, I, know, I, I don't Ball even Ball care Fighters. about that. It's yeah. fun because the audience, because for, well, for uh, the, the commentators yeah. are great. The commentators keep you hyped. Yes. Yikes Second, is always phenomenal on commentary. Second, yeah. so the fun thing is that the audience is whenever Cell showed up there, and you know a Cell's entrance where he just comes up and goes, ah! the whole audience would do that too. So you'd hear the entire, uh, you'd hear the, I'm talking, so Mandalay Bay is a 10,000 people arena. Right. You would hear in the game, and I'll show you after this podcast, because I want to show you something else too. But you hear just in the background, you <laughs> just the whole crowd every single time someone came up there to charge up they would all charge up with them it was, it was fucking great yeah but um, you know what happened this time probably not right no mm, I, I mean will, there'll still be will. hype but it's, still, it's still got a lot of people in it but like it's not I'm sure it, there'll still be a lot it, the wind got sucked out of it because of that fucking company when yeah. they can go well when you started having some majors yeah, no, basically I mean, I not being allowed to fucking stream that really does fucking kill it because it's like all right well we can't guarantee we have a dude, future in this that game that pisses me off like i just it yeah. legit is like such a fucking thing to me that i hate the copyright owners just like have this thing where they just don't want like what are you fucking losing out on with this like i'm sorry a bunch of people like your fucking video game and want to like show it off and like watch it together and have a good time that's it, it's legit just pissing me off like fuck you like <laughs> That's so lame. Anyway, let me let's talk about the interest numbers though. So Blaz Blue, Blaze Blue, I keep saying Blaz Blue. Blaze Blue is at six hundred forty. And that's the bottom. Six hundred forty. Six hundred forty yeah. uh fighters. People, people are people showing attend, up. People attending for that game for fighting. Wow, only only six hundred. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it was fucking opening thing, on fucking Sunday. Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the next level is Soul Calibur Six with seven forty two. Really? Uh huh. Yeah, no one gives a shit about the game. What? So Calibur Six, fuck all y'all. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still kind of solid. No, DOA right. isn't here. I think, I think So Calibur Six is better than a lot of the recent. I really want I really, I really so, want DOA. I, I don't get into the intricacies. Like, no, I no, you play, know, you're, you're I just not... play. I play video games. Ma- Maximilian Sorry, dude is with you on that. He loves So Calibur Six. Hey, go! He's like the head honcho of uh, you <laughs> yeah. YouTube. Now, YouTube shockingly, boys. <laughs> the third lowest is Dragon Ball Fighters yeah. with uh, 1191. Damn, that low. Fuck. You said it had 10,000 well, people last year? No, 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 no. <laughs> it was so in the theater. In, in the, the Mandalay Bay, yeah, the, okay. the, atten- the viewers, which is still, that's still like the same number, is you can fill that arena with 10,000 people. The attendees oh, okay. for this was like 2,000. I don't know how big, I don't know, yeah, I don't know how let big me, let, I'll, pull, I'll pull up uh, Evo 2018 attendance numbers. Let me, let me pull this up. I was going to okay. say, it was on their front page for a little bit, the comparisons. I'm assuming if... I'm not, I'm... So let me, let me pull this up, so... <laughs> 
I'll pull this. Least... I'll, I'll say last year's just for just for comparison's sakes. And this is gonna okay. this is gonna sound funny. Okay, the, the least amount was Justice Two. With guess how much? And I'll and tell you right now. Two is the least amount last year. I'll tell you year? right now. The, the highest of last year was this. Dragon Ball Fighters with 2,575 players. That's okay, the highest of last the, year. That's the highest. 2,700? Okay. 2,575. Wow. That's how many okay. people were competing. And okay. Justice 2, how much do you think that was? The eighth game, how many people you showed, showed up there? I'm assuming pretty close to the same. I'm going to say uh, 1,500. It's less. not that close, but I'm just kidding. Way less? Oh, less? I thought you were trying to tell me, like, Way oh, less. this year sucks compared no, to last no. year. So, um, 200. Higher. 500. 363 people. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was right in the fucking yeah. It's like right in the middle. 363. <laughs> that's uh, for uh, Justice 2. That's why it's not here this year, right? It's yeah. not here this year. Right? Well, they, well, that's well, because it's, it's Mortal Kombat right. also. Yeah, they try to keep just one. Well, I'm assuming it probably wouldn't be here anyway if it only had 300 and something fucking people. Pretty much. And we have a... I mean, you had a new Smash. You had fucking Samurai yeah, Showdown. Yeah, so let, let me pull out the, the people. I have a feeling Samurai Showdown will be pretty low, right? Yeah. You haven't said it. But... So, so let, me, let me pull out the, the games that aren't back new, here again. Yes. So, uh, Guilty Gear Exerd is 629 people last year. Uh, more, Smash Melee, just... 1,351 people. Okay. Uh, Smash Wii U beat them by three people, so 1,354 people. <laughs> okay. and that's all for that. So, in the next, I'll do comparisons. So, let me pull this out. Okay, so, Blaze Blue went from uh, uh, 1,178 people last year to 640 people this year. Okay. Um, I didn't know Blaze Blue was still huge. Yeah, it's always, not. Always it's, I mean, it's not them. obviously, but you know, like it's big enough to be an Evo. That surprised me. Uh, so, so then let me go back up. So then uh, for this year, Unist, uh, which is that that is. So, do you want to explain this, David? I we already went down so many rabbit holes at this point that maybe you shouldn't. But if you want to explain, David, it. go go for it. Explain. Yeah, if you want to explain. It. I honestly spaced out for a second there. What are we? What am Unist. I explaining? Eunice, uh, that's a series I never really got into, but it is another one of the kind of anime-style fighters, a uh, bit more of an air dasher. Um, okay. From my understanding, it's had a very steady cult following, and with the recent entry, it's actually gained a ton of momentum just out of nowhere. It was one How of those do you with spell it? I probably, I probably know what under, it is. Undernight just... in birth, S-T. Oh, oh, oh Umber Knight. Okay. Under Knight. I, I, I thought it was Umber Knight. Under. No, Under. Under? I, th- I, saw, that in, I saw the logo. Uh, yeah, it's under night and birth. What, okay, yeah. I don't know what I don't know. What maybe I'll just call it Eunice, but it's been, it's one of those that has like a I cult guess. following, under night in birth, uh, st. <laughs> okay. <laughs> quick call it Eunice. Sure. Uh, but but uh, that's why I was had the cult following, so it was huge when it got announced this year. That was like the surprise one because people been wanting that and people didn't think it happened. Uh, okay. MK11 has 1,567 people this year. Oh. Uh, Samurai Showdown has 1,719 people this year. Oh, more than fucking Mortal Kombat? Mm-hmm. Damn. I guess it's newer, too. But I didn't think Samurai Showdown was that big, because it came out. Oh, it was also I stopped, one of surprise ones. I stopped hearing about it. Yeah, well, I mean, it looked really good. And I actually so, almost got it when it first came out, but I was like, eh. Tekken 7 last year had 1,538 people. This year has 1,885 people, so about 300 players more. Okay. Uh, Street Fighter uh, Street Fighter, yeah, Street Fighter 5 had 2,484 player people last year. This year has 1,929 people. Ooh. So it's still a second, but lost 500 people. Um, and last year, yeah, DBZ was uh, 2,575 people. And Smash Ultimate is now the second highest of all-time Evo. The first all-time uh, was Street Fighter V. The year it came out had 5,000 people playing. I'm, I'm going to guess 4,000 if you're going to ask. No, so it, it's, it's uh, almost 3,500 people. Okay. So that's that's yeah. huge though. Pretty big. Um, that's second highest of all time. Just kind of, you know. I, I, that is huge, but I felt like Smash had a way bigger. I, I know it's a, a bigger game when it comes to like anybody can play it, but I just feel like that was like I I don't follow the fighting game community obviously, but I, I heard way more about that than I heard about Street Fighter from the from the few select people. That Smash. I know that are fighting game guys. Yeah. And I'm talking about, like, as a fighting game. like a, The, the, the thing about Smash, game. too, is that it has a lot of, uh... It has a lot of crossover. Yeah. So people, like, I mean, if you're going there for Tekken, you're like, Oh, I like yeah, Smash. I'll play Smash. <laughs> you know? Well, there's no... Is there, I guess there's Tekken costumes. 
yeah, but I mean, people, people if, you play, <laughs> if you play games, you play Smash. You know, a lot of people play Smash, yeah, no, no, no. And, they, and everyone always thinks they're good at it, so everyone wants to try their hand at it. Right. Um, yeah, so also, that is also the highest, the biggest Smash tournament of all time. You know what would be awesome? They cancel the game? Yeah. Uh, no, I would love, I, it, it'll never happen. Never. Never. But I would love to see Lethal League and fucking That Evo. was, uh, no, it was Nidhogg. Never happened. That, Nidhogg was one of the ones that was like. Oh, Nidhogg would was be Was in the too. running for people trying to vote for it. Oh, Nidhogg would be awesome. I would love to watch that. Uh, but you know, but, the, cool thing, the cool thing about Evo, though, is I said, it's like, it's like, it's, it's like a convention, too. Right. And you can find a lot of sub areas where people running their own tournaments. There's always oh, that cool. Catherine tournament there. Uh, oh, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. people run Lethal League tournaments. I'll probably find one when I'm out there. Um, yeah, you should play that. Probably, probably someone's running Nidhogg. I know I wanted to go in and run my own Gang Beast tournament. <laughs> so, people fun. all do that. Oh, I'd love to see Gang Beast too. Shit. Oh, my God. Those are way more entertaining games than fucking... Uh, well, I guess I don't play Blaz, Blaze, Blah, Blue. The, the, but the thing with I played games... it back when it first came out, the first one, 360. I was like, this is good. And I played the Persona games that were made by the same people, I think. Uh, so yeah, I'm assuming... Uh, isn't Dragon about... Ball also made by the same people? No. No, it just has a same, similar right? look. Yeah. Um, it, has the same, it has the same look. That's why so the, the, the thing about fighting games is unless... There's two, there's two ways you can enjoy the, the game watching. One, you're super invested and know the game inside and out. Two, you're with a good group of people, good group of people that's just enjoying watching the game. Mm-hmm. So, like, watching the game at Evo and doing that, you're going to get super hyped about it. Watching it at home by yourself, you're not. it's like the same thing with Overwatch League, how I am, where it's like, if I'm watching it alone, I'll have it on kind of like on the side. If, if it's a team I really like, I'll watch it. Otherwise, it's kind of, I'm watching in the background on the side, maybe in the corner of my eye. But, yeah. Um, yeah, because like, like when I went to Evo the other year, I didn't give a shit about Smash, but just seeing how happy Adrian was about it while it was going on, that was just it was a fun experience for that. Yeah, and, and like in there, I don't watch Street Fighter, but like when I'm at there at Evo, I will watch Street Fighter because like it's super cool just watching in the in the in the arena with everyone. All right, next story. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Yeah, our EU finds that loot boxes are not gambling. This is a U story, David. So. For it, you so uh, there's been a lot of back and forth. We kind of touched on this a bit in the other episodes we've done of this. Uh, but EA has been fighting feverishly to make sure that as many countries as possible uh, do not see loot boxes as gambling because then that makes it so they have to release any games with that as either adult only or. Or they need to go ahead and take those components out of the game. Obviously, EA is not going to try and release any adult-only games. So that means they have to go ahead and take that out. And unfortunately, their stupid, it's fucking surprise mechanics. People like Kinder Eggs uh, argument actually won. And uh, it was ruled in the EU that uh, loot boxes are not gambling. uh, Therefore, they're perfectly fine. There's still, of course, that, ah, we should really be concerned about it kind of uh, fever going on. But I also feel like that's just because it's probably more of a hot topic politicians can easily hop on and earn some brownie points with their constituents with. Uh, But yeah, unfortunately, uh, the courts there decided that it wasn't gambling. So that means that there's going to be far less pressure on uh, companies companies like EA to try and go ahead and monetize that shit and it's fucking disgusting and that really needs to go as a practice. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't like loot boxes, but I'm not a sucker for them, I, like some people say. I can't I can't say personally I care fucking that much. Stupid fucking piece. <laughs> no, I am a sucker for those, but I like those. <laughs> I'm no, not a sucker uh, for like way, ones that are like bullshit. The way I see it, the way I see it is um I will buy loot boxes and, like, microtransactions for games I really enjoy, and if I'm playing it a lot, like, I put a fucking massive amount of, of time in Overwatch, more than many $60 games I put into. I don't mind throwing them 10 bucks here or there. Yeah, or... That's, where, that's where I'm But at. see, here's the thing, is that, at least with Overwatch, it's purely cosmetic. I have yeah. no problem exactly. going ahead and adding in a loot box. I, I prefer it not to have a loot box mechanic at all, but if you're gonna go ahead and have a loot box system, it should only ever be fucking cosmetic. That should be the only ever acceptable kind of concept for that. But companies like EA put basically pay-to-win model behind their fucking loot boxes, and that's where it gets absolutely disgusting. I just hate the fucking ones doing single player because that's just dumb. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, what was it recently? Uh, Assassin's Creed yeah. had those. Right? Yeah. Everybody was like, last week. Yeah. That's that. That. I mean, those some, didn't seem too annoying. That's some dumb shit though. 
But yeah, those th- that was annoying. But it was an XP boost, right? So it was just like yeah. okay. I mean, at least but, it wasn't like you gotta buy this to unlock. But see, that's where the slippery slope game. comes it's in. Good. Is it gets you going like, okay, well, it, it's just an XP boost for now. I can just play without it. But then, like, okay, but how little can we reward you XP before you don't want to quit the game, but you're willing to cave in on actually just buying it? Uh, There's a study that was actually done like two years ago, but the video of the study has actually been catching uh, a lot of traction now because it's a much more prevalent topic of someone that went into the mentality of how to market loot boxes. And right out of the bat, the first thing out of his mouth is, fuck the ethics. Don't worry about the ethics. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about how you capitalize on people in order to really take advantage of them and get the most money out of them for this concept. And it it really is just absolutely disgusting, the tactics and marketing that goes into these things. And that's the thing. The more it becomes accepted, the more people are just kind of like, eh, whatever, it doesn't really hurt this right now. The more companies are going to go ahead and keep pushing and trying to get away with as much as possible. And from a consumer level, it really bothers me to no end. Uh, no, I, I agree. Um, I see th- that's where it gets to the argument of like whether games are too pricey or like whether or not the development is a lot higher than it is. Cause I, 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 I do that unpopular opinion where I think I understand because game development is so much more expensive and prices haven't gone up for a long time. Uh, adjustment for inflation, like games are like more cheap now than they were back then. Think about yeah. like how much how much fucking NES games cost back then. They cost more MSRP back then than they cost right now, and that's without inflation uh go back to even when they first started showing up there with 60 bucks for like years of war when they started going 60 bucks that's still like what like games would be like 75 bucks 70 bucks now um you, they still cost a lot more now so i get that but at the same time too that's also on the company side for making such a big risk with those games um i'm glad that people are starting to realize that oh smaller single player games are starting to be a lot more profitable than taking a big risk on multiplayer games so hopefully we start seeing a little bit more of a resurgence on that side of it and stop stop getting away from these games as a service because I don't mind games as a service. In fact, if I was a kid right now, I would fucking love it because I can just keep playing this one game over and over again and never have it die out. But that's such a hard market to compete in because you have to say, hey, stop playing the game that you're super invested in and having a good time with. Come play our game and invest all that time into that. And it's like, I don't have that much time for that. Like, I'm playing Rainbow Six right now. I was like, I'm having a good time with it, but... I don't, I'm not going to fucking put all the time that I'm... I still want to play Overwatch right now. Like, I still want to yeah, yeah, yeah. I still want to do that. We're getting a new character in there. You know, it's like, I still want to do all that stuff. And that's, that's game. That game. That's the game that got me. So, like, I'll play Apex now. Every now and then, I'll play some Rainbow Six. But those... I still want to play Division. I'm going to play Destiny next month when they do the whole thing there. But it's like, I'll, I'm not going to invest the time that they want me to because I, there's not enough time. Yeah, and uh, it, it's one of those things that... <sighs> The games as a service model, really, honestly, when you break it down, is no different than what an MMO model is. And it could have been a model that could have had a lot of sustainability in the market if companies weren't just so immediate to go ahead and get greedy with it. I honestly think if they would have just gone ahead, kept with the standard traditional model that like an MMO follows they would have had a lot more success out of it than trying to go ahead and be like, all right, throw in the fucking super stupid expensive cosmetics, throw in the fucking loot boxes, make it so that way they have to either play this game for fucking 400 plus hours to get what they actually want or open up their wallet to get with a chance at what they want. That's where it basically it, it self imploded. This could have been a model that could have actually led to a really interesting and great game concepts because uh, it, it's the same concept like an early access too. you know, that's something that could have had a phenomenal chance of, Hey, support the developers early, get that kind of initial funding to them, try out, you know, what is done of the game. And it gets so heavily abused and just, it's never actually treated in a mature way that allows both the consumer and the creator to profit. It's always just kind of focused on rush it out the door, get as much money as you can and consumers just continuously suffer for it. And unfortunately it's going to be a model that does die out not anytime in the near future, but I could definitely see games as a service going away in the next 10 years and being replaced with some other kind of game model, especially as we go to a more digital only style. Um, but I don't know it, there's so much potential 
that could have been had here if people are just fucking responsible and not just thinking, how can we make money? Yeah. All right, I'm off my soapbox. Yeah, Adrian. Sorry, yeah, shit I want to quick, I wanna quick, get a quick update. Uh, I've got my refund already. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, for eBay, what? for the uh, Thanos. Oh. I will say that's one thing. I have never heard bad things about eBay's customer service. No, they, they'll side with you 100% of the time. Oh, <laughs> Which yeah, is yeah, also yeah. to a detriment <laughs> if you're yeah. a seller. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of oh, your soapbox. I, I, know, I know of. So. Speaking of your soapbox, uh, GTA 5 opened a casino. What? <laughs> you didn't hear about that? No, I don't give a shit about GTA 5. What was it called? There's just, they added this casino to the online where you can actually use real money to bet on stuff. Uh, okay. Should have mentioned that during the fucking soapbox. No, I want, I want to hit like his face. Look, it's, it's dumb face. He got, he's about to get <laughs> is that. that is, is, about to... is that the face you're gonna use as the, the thumbnail now? <laughs> like, are you fucking serious? Did they just yeah. have a straight up fucking casino in there now? Uh, like, so, looking like so there's, straight there's, out of there's, a, couple, there's right a couple caveats. They, you can't win real money. You can spend real money, but you can't win real money. <laughs> you can't win real money. <laughs> So okay. it's not necessarily winning like money like casino wise, and it's not available in all countries. Only where gambling's legal, and you have to be a, right. and I guess you have to be over 18. But I mean that doesn't. That's but how doesn't do you that. enforce something like that? There is literally no way to enforce something you like should, that. You, you have to apply an ID you're, you're, in the game. Technically, your kids shouldn't be playing an 18 plus game. Who cares? Okay, technically Let him go sure. To strip club. No, no man. man. You fuck technicalities. Everyone grew up with that. Ah, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and borrow this game from older relative, friend, whatever it is, or Uncle John, gra- Uncle John, or fucking you know, mom's too stupid to realize what the fucking ratings are on the board because letters are hard to read. I get that. Let's be honest. It's kind of like, well, you know, minors shouldn't be drinking when they go, and it's like, oh well, they did some fucking stupid because they're out drinking. They shouldn't have been doing that. Who cares? It's going to fucking happen regardless. There's, we should always go under the assumption it's going to fucking happen regardless. So go ahead and put on a fucking mechanic like that, regardless of you actually... So, it, again, 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 okay, yeah. okay, 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 again. No, no. A couple, couple more, uh, like one more caveat, I think. I think it limits you to only a couple dollars you can put in per day. What a bunch of For assholes. Now. I just want to put more. So you could do that, and then... Uh, until you earn enough. I mean, until you spend enough. Then you're, you unlock another level. Uh, it limits how much you can spend, spend like through 20. there. Um, Look at him. He's disgusted. I really <laughs> And then, <laughs> yeah, all, all, you all, do your is, all, run all, out all you do is put that later. in. You can win just stuff like in-game to do all that stuff. Which All your oh, faces you're making right now, I'll save for future when I can't find a good face. <laughs> Gore's gonna fucking pull an Adrian and just send me boxes of my face and yeah. flame it you're, gonna, you're gonna be really disgusted for the next week's episode when we talk about Fire Emblem. <laughs> you're gonna put put your face like that. By the way, Fire Emblem two days. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, but uh, no, I, that honestly disgust. Again, that's one that should immediately be fucking adult only rating. That should there's no excuse for that. Throwing how, it in the camp. How is that? Like, how? Hold on, hold on, hold on. How is that different from loot boxes though? Because uh, adults have more. Which you can spend more money on new boxes. Well, that's my argument: is that it's not, and it's so should something Overwatch like should be it... a AO game then? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I will fucking make that argument. Anything with that kind of level of gambling, especially with a loot box, where it is essentially that kind of, it plays with your brain. You get the shiny lights. You get everything kind of going with that. That should no, that should be an adult only rating because that is straight up gambling. It doesn't matter if you don't get a kind of physical thing back out of it. That is straight up gambling and should have an AO rating because of that. And to just even have that be allowed to be thrown into the game after the fact, regardless of how it is set up now, that should set a very that sets a very dangerous precedent again of that slippery fucking slope of all right well we can get away with putting it in a literal fucking casino into this game where you can pay your actual fucking money to play this goddamn casino next step is just putting actual just fucking raw casino games and just again the whole concept the kids should not be going ahead and doing the anyway fuck that argument there's people with legitimate problems the, uh, ah, man, I could, no, I'm going to stop myself here. I could rant about this for a while, but uh, that is genuinely disgusting. And uh, fuck Rockstar. What? 
No, you're here, here first. Fuck I Rockstar. I don't think it's up. I, I don't no, think it's fuck up. Fuck Rockstar. No, no. Fuck yeah. Rockstar. You didn't play right there. You're, you're putting a, dollar, a couple of dollars in, and you're getting some fucking random shit no. out there. All right, one thing. That is them testing, and, and, that is them and, testing the waters to see what they can get away with in the future. Fuck and Rockstar. And you're playing with it. You're not just putting money in, just seeing a loot box open, and fucking fly, and then oh, there you go. Fuck Rockstar. No, here's fuck your, Rockstar. Here's your, here's your Star Wars blaster. Here's, here's your one blue. For heaven. Here's your blue. <laughs> uh, that's fuck me. Rockstar. <laughs> here's your here's your blue duplicates that are like five cents of fucking real. I mean, not real uh, credits. Or the fuck they're called. 300 C. What the fuck is even C? <laughs> what is C? I was Not assuming credits. credits but... I'm what not going to be the fucking name of the episode just for the fucking clickbait. Fuck Rockstar. Fuck Rockstar. I, I like them. They're pretty cool people. He, he, uh, Adrian could do it on his YouTube. Uh, I, right, I like next Rockstar. Story. <laughs> My uh, favorite game last year was a Rockstar game. So. The Defiant Development, hand, the creators of Hand of Fate series closes down. I never played the game, so go on it. To be fair, they didn't, they didn't close down. I heard they just, in, aren't making games anymore, they said. They're not making games anymore, and they will be closing down permanently. They're in oh, maintenance mode that. right now. Yeah, oh, no, okay. they will be closing down. Okay. They're just kind of, they've already, uh, a lot of the developers have already left. Um, and the studio as a whole will be completely going away and be dissolved. It's just yes. while they still have the resources, they're trying to keep everything in maintenance mode for as long as they can. <laughs> Plus, I imagine it's going to be one of those things that they're going to have to try and figure out what to do with the rights for their games at this point. THQ. Um, THQ. Yeah. THQ, give me a fucking physical release on Switch and I'll be a happy camper. Yeah, I really uh, want to play Hands of Fate. I never got around to it, though. Fantastic games, honestly. Yeah, it was really good. Um, but it's one of those things that's kind of sad to see a studio that went ahead, did something a little bit different, try to make a chance, and uh, fantastic work that's come out of there, but just unfortunately couldn't sustain themselves in the market that we're in right now. And it's just kind of sad to see it happen. I hate to see yeah. it happen. I hate to see you It's go. a damn yeah. shame. It's a damn shame, Dutch Rockstar. You, did, did that make you upset because I did a quote? <laughs> so, Fuck you. Arthur Morgan makes me sick now. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's just kind of sad to see someone that put out such unique and original content just kind of fail I because... I agree. Just, yeah. They didn't have microtransactions. so they should Exactly. Have. Which actually that game could have... Easily. You could have easily. It's a card game, yeah. right? But I don't think uh, it's it has an multiplayer, RPG did it? that has no. Uh, yes, the second one did has it? multiplayer. Oh, the second one did okay. Uh, but yeah, no, it's an RPG that has randomized mechanics, so it's kind of like roguelike, and that's where the cards come in. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, it's one of those things that it easily could have, but they wanted to go for a fun, exciting game, something unique and different that that's hadn't right. really been done yet, and You're not it just. To do that anymore. It, it just didn't take off, you know. It's one of those things that not every, not every good indie game becomes like an Undertale or something, where it just immediately amasses that following that's just loyal to a fault. Uh, unfortunately, you know, great games do fall to the wayside just because sales don't always happen. At least they made two games. You go yeah. look at the bright side. Some studios make half a game and then fucking they they don't even finish. Exactly. Some studios don't even start making. Talking a game to you, Boss Key. Yeah, boss key. If you consider Lawbreakers a real game, it was actually. It was pretty All right, good. next one. <laughs> uh, Xbox getting a new UI. We're getting an update, boys. Cool. Yeah, I saw. Hopefully I saw. It look. And no Cortana, right? That's what I heard. I think like, so. Uh, like, people, people were showing pictures and you don't see Cortana anywhere. So. Probably. Well, I, to I'm be honest, I don't. I, I don't care to be honest, but <laughs> I want to make fun of David's using it because he's like, "Oh, this, this UI sucks, man. You can't just fucking hate PlayStation, it." PlayStation Four, you have it right there, and we're like, "What do you mean? You do it there?" He's like, "No, you can't do this." Like, "Yeah, you can't just push that button." He's like, "Oh, yeah. I don't like new things." <laughs> it's just like, no, I it just does bad. not feel intuitive. I I hate it. having to like always fucking remember that. Oh yeah, I gotta hit the fucking menu, the fucking center button, and then go through fucking eight different screens to go ahead and get to the one thing I want. I don't like. I don't like the organization. Right on the, you can put them around right the front. You the literally front can screen. push the home button and have it set to your pins. So you push down and you're not even there. that. You you put the pins right on the front screen. You can put them right there. Bam! Just go, scroll down a little bit. You can have Netflix. You can have whatever the fuck you want. Uh, uh, your anime app. Whatever just, you got. I don't man. like. To do, I just don't like. It. I, I do, do. Being on the PS4 so much lately, I I don't like that one that much. I, think I don't like. I don't like the PS4 because it's the exact same as the PS3, and I didn't like the PS3 one. It's not the exact same, obviously, but it's. Dan, I it's love the so episode. close. I to have the to go scroll then, all well. the way to the right, go to the library, and let that all load right there, or you have to yeah. load up the PS Store as a whole different thing every fucking time. 
And, and me, I only turn my PS4 on every once a okay. That's once one a thing moon, I moon, but a, I once a once a blood moon I, of I the Xbox on. Live Store to everything else you're doing. I love that part of the Xbox. I'll give them that credit. But just the UI design, I fucking hate it. I was just gonna say the, the PS4. Every time I turn it, I have to do a fucking update. So and that's only because I don't play it. I play it once, like bi monthly. I think at this point. Do you even do it bi monthly? Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> No. Well, what you play on there? Last time, last time I played with Days Gone. That was yeah, fucking there you go. So. All right. Next story. Oh, I must say, yeah, it's cool. I'm glad. Uh, I, I just like. If, I'll uh, never. I'll. I'll never. I'll just. I missed the the NXE on the uh, 360. What's it called? The NXE? Yeah. The, the new Xbox experience. Yeah, I know. I know you're yeah, about. I like that. That that one wasn't too bad. Next story. Spider-Man PS4 is now the best-selling superhero game. Hell yeah. <gasps> So Ultimate Alliance 3 takes it over. Ultimate Alliance cool. 3 is actually selling a lot. I, yeah. I saw a lot. Yeah, I don't know how. But uh, anyway, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's it's weird. Ultimate, Ultimate Alliance 3 is the third highest selling Switch game this year, right behind Mario Maker and Super Mario Bros. Okay. Well, name other games that came out for the Switch. Uh, Yoshi. <laughs> um, Yoshi. Fuck out of here. But against Iron Man? Get out of here. Venom's in there. That was the biggest movie in China. He turns into a whale. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> why? I, I don't know. <laughs> he likes whales. Because Marvel. That's why. Marvel vs. Capcom. Tom Hardy's a big whale fan. That's why. He's just like, hey, I need a, my symbiote to turn into a whale. That's how he talks in the movie. <laughs> he does. <laughs> He's Not like, lying. oh, my... Th- there's a part where he breaks his legs and then Venom fixes them, and literally the line is, "My legs were broken and now they're not. What's going on?" <laughs> it's literally a line. In the movie. Oh, I, I, I didn't notice. Dude, <laughs> I, I fucking hate that our favorite line in the trailer was in the movie. Oh, you mean the turd in the wind? That one? Oh no, you you weren't the one that liked it, huh? No, it was, kind of, it was kind of funny. That I liked it. I loved it. What was that line <laughs> where Venom first comes out of him? And he's like, "I, I don't know." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've seen the trailer a few times. Yeah. I never, I never even thought about that. that was it. I was waiting for it. Yeah, the kind of funny would make fun of it all the time. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like it's, it, he's doing his voice from the drop. If you ever saw the drop, it's, it's the same accent he does in there. Where it's like, I, I can't tell if it's supposed to be like New York or like Bro- Brooklyn. I can't. A, tell yeah, I cannot tell what he's trying to do. I mean, he does it well, I guess, but I can't tell what it is. It almost comes off more like a Jersey accent, though. I guess, yeah, a little bit. Like a, like a Jersey, I don't know, like with a with a like a like feminine thing, just a little bit. It's like, I don't know, man. It's, it's, yeah, it almost sounds like a, ra- like a rapper. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. All it's right. Just... Let's see. Next story. Uh, this like, one I'm surprised like, David didn't put in there. I think this might be one of the biggest ones this this uh, this week. Ah, uh, that one I was going to, and I legit forgot to just put it in there. Uh, Nintendo sent out a my mouse that fixed all Joy-Cons. <laughs> yeah. Let my Legal f- pressure f- has finally scared Nintendo, and it'd be like, I oh, maybe we should do something there. That's nice. I had, I mean, it's a little too late for me. I already freaking replaced mine, but that's cool. Let's not talk about how you replaced yours, too. You piece of shit. No, I, yeah. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh... This is good. I I hope my my original ones don't start drifting, but I'm I'm gonna test the other ones out because the my original ones I modded to put the translucent case on it. Yep. Uh, I can always dig out the other ones and put them back, but it's probably not worth the effort. And also, I'm not. By the way, I'm not spending forty dollars on one little fucking dumbass. Not even both of them. One. You high as hell, bro. <laughs> hell no. Yeah, they should have did this like a year ago when everybody was starting to fucking have that problem. Like everybody, I remember like, a year you ago. Guys to so, well, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, I have. I, I I had it earlier this year, to be fair. But uh, last year, I remember he, uh, everybody was talking about like, "What's this thing, man? I push up and it keeps fucking going up. What's going on?" It's like I, I, I don't know. know. Oh no! <laughs> well, luckily, I have not run into that with any of my Joy Cons. I'm playing my Switch. I get ran over. My, There's I'm a like, new oh, uh, Wolfenstein like trailer right, right, right now, Gore. Huh? New Wolfenstein trailer came out. I know. I watched it. Oh, the new one? Yeah. Oh yeah. I know. The new one that comes out in two days here. Oh, I just stopped. I just saw IGN <laughs> post about it, so I wasn't sure if you watched yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. The launch trailer. I watched it. It's pretty good. Next story. Uh, hey, are we gonna play that game? Because I'm getting the deluxe edition. So. Oh, isn't that have the funny we, code thing? Yeah, that's what I was. I got it. 
Yeah, I might do it. We, we don't need we don't need to play it. And like, I'll probably play it by myself the first time. Uh, but if you want to play it the first, I don't care. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, let, let me know. Uh, next story: uh, Plants vs Zombies Three got confirmed by EA. Yeah, I'll let you guys talk about that while I go pee. Okay, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, if if they come if it's out, like they... the first game, fuck yeah. If it's like the second yeah, one, never... fuck. Why is the second one that bad? Second one. I played it. I don't remember. There's being a bad. lot of different currencies in that game. Oh, uh, uh, okay. And then it's it's a free. It's like it's got that free to play shit on it. It's chair. Um, it's it's. Oh, I, it's chair. I think uh, they leaned way into the mobile side of it, and they, I just want just, just a cool ass tower defense game. Yeah. It's all the I mean, you was. can play Plants vs Zombies one still. Just do that. And I'm sure it's gonna be if it's gonna be like Plants vs Zombies one. I'm sure it's gonna be exactly like Plants vs Zombies one. So I hope so. But like, it's I, been a I, long time since Plants vs Zombies. They gotta reintroduce it. I guess yeah, they'll probably add uh, a couple. But the second things. one was wasn't well received though. No, I know that's what I'm saying. They have to reintroduce it because nobody liked the second one, and everybody knows the Garden Warfare series now. Because that, that I'm pretty sure oh. that's pretty popular, right? We did play the, that the, time. The reason I lost one of my favorite gamer tags, by the way, I just want to say. You pissed off some kid a, or mom or I, there. I, I I didn't do anything. <laughs> my cu- my cousin. Did. I didn't know. You made the name. I would have never played it to begin with, so not my fault. I just made a great name, and she or he or whoever got pissed. So that mean I had want, I had want... a great name. I had a great name, a gamer tag. It was it was one of my favorite Nicolas Cage quotes ever. It was in it was in the, the movie Bad Lieutenant. Huh? Ah, the bees. Oh, I have to be. No, that's everyone's favorite. Mine is uh, he, he, in Bad Lieutenant, a movie nobody saw. Uh, there's a part where something ha- something's going on, and he's feeling up some, and he's like, "Oh, hmm, no panties." That's my favorite line. So I had that fucking gamer tag. Hmm. H M M. No it. panties. I know, but then I'm fucking. I'll play like uh, I don't know. Uh, what's a kid's game? Fucking Hotel Transylvania Fortnite. three or something. Fortnite. There you go. That's everyone. And then someone will be offended because I killed them, and then my name's No Panties, which ain't gonna happen because uh, no, no, it's, <laughs> it's mm, No Panties. Yes, yeah, mm, uh, yes, Panties. <laughs> you definitely could have taken it again. I know I could have, but what? What's the point? <laughs> didn't you have to get? Did you have to like tell Xbox Live that was your gamer tag once? Yeah, I, I, it was a girl too. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I said I didn't say mm, No Panties because I knew immediately she'd be like, huh? <laughs> like H M M no panties. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I said it with conviction too. <laughs> I didn't go. No I came in I like, again. Oh, H M M no panties, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it down. <laughs> That's it. You ever saw Bad Lieutenant? <laughs> God, that, that woman hates her life. <laughs> Shit, well, that's a, no, I made her life better that day. <laughs> she heard the greatest gamer tag ever. <laughs> oh man, uh, she just wanted to just get done up with your gamer tag. H-M, I had to no panty. <laughs> I had to because there was a part where there was a t- there was a part there was a time I'm, t- I'm talking about like it, 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 my life like it was a movie. Uh, it's, <laughs> it was a time where I got hacked. Remember that one time I got hacked? Do you remember that? No, and I lost like all the money in my account. I forgot about that. No, that was no it. panties. That was like the beginning of no panties. Right, we're not <laughs> like, again. Uh, I I played Halo Two on Windows Vista and I played it once. I think it was Windows Vista, whatever it was. I played it and immediately a day later my shit was hacked. So I was assuming it was because I played on some fucking sketchy ass server. Uh, yeah, and they, I'm assuming they, buy? they bought Age of Empires oh, online. Much. Yeah, and it was just a bunch of DLC they bought. And it was just some random person like, that bought the account. Because you, you could tell it wasn't like the hacker or anything. I like the idea that someone... They were just playing on my account like I would no never panties. notice. Yeah. It was someone that sold my account, and I got my account back like instantly. And I got my money back, too. I was surprised, because I had like a... Like, Did you get to like, keep the game? Uh, No, but I got I kept the achievements. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I got the That's what matters. Like, I got hey, we're gonna, we're gonna sell this, this gamer tag called hmm, No Panties. <sighs> Such a good fucking gamer tag too. Fuck. <laughs> I can get it back again. I know. I like my gamer tag right now. I'll wait until 2020, the end of 2020. We'll if see. If this if one keep... gets banned, you're going back. If it gets banned, that's some bullshit. <laughs> like straight up. That's just some. That's ridiculous. All right, I get All right. panties or whatever. Even though that's what women wear. Uh, I guess. I... 
saying saying no panties makes it seem sexual, but whatever. Next story. Som- sometimes I like to go commando. Just leave me alone. There we go. Uh, Keanu was initially suggested for Death Stranding. Yeah, Man, why couldn't he have been in that? Uh, I, didn't, I don't, I don't I see him. Recently, did I hear recently there was like a the, Keanu was suggested for something else too, not just Death Stranding. I don't know. Uh, I didn't hear about anything else. Okay, never mind. Go ahead. Um, I think Maz Mikkelsen fits that role more. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the character he's gonna play. Yeah. I just heard he's gonna be in the game, and then no, they, they wanted him to be the Mads Mikkelsen character. Oh, I, thought I think Mads Mikkelsen definitely fits that character more. Oh well, I mean, we don't yeah. know the character is yet. To be fair, all he does is smoke. Yeah, that look definitely. I mean, um, it, that's just what it looks like. To be right. fair, but, but I like Keanu he, he and uh, the villain. I like Keanu sure. and Cyberpunk. I like the idea of him in that role more actually. I just want him in more shit. I do. I want Keanu and Mads Mikkelsen to team up in a John Wick movie. Oh, Mads Mikkelsen needs to be the next John Wick. Yo, that's like his brother? Like, not real brother, but, you know. I mean, they keep introducing new characters in each John Wick movie as if we were supposed to already know them in the past. So, fuck it. Just like he has a brother now. <laughs> fuck it. There he is. It's Mads Mikkelsen. They're like the same age. Let's go. They're both badass. Man, and- John Wick has just enough set up that I'd fucking love it as a video game. Goddamn. Oh, it's coming out of the video game. I'm happy to tell you. Well. <laughs> it is, but it's not exactly what you probably want. <laughs> no, it's not what I would want. No, it looks cool, but as a first John Wick game, sure. But I want. I just want a game set in that world. You don't play as John Wick, but wouldn't it be cool if you just play as a, like it's a role playing game kind of? You just start yeah. off as, as an assassin, you rise the ranks of the Continental and stuff. I'd love it if it was like an RPG FPS. That That's what I would fucking want. Yeah, I think third person would work better because there'll be some melee, obviously, because that's what John Wick gets down. Fair. <laughs> fucking knife, let's go. <laughs> With multiple knives. I want to watch that movie. I, I'm, so bad. I'm excited for it to come on uh, 4K. <laughs> Oh pre-order my steelbook on that guy. That might be the best you theater see that steelbook? experience. Yeah, I did. It was cool, but th- th- it was weird. Best Buy has like a, a bundle thing going on where if you buy the the I think the hold on, I, I should look it up again because I wanted to buy uh, or pre-order the steelbook, but it said it was only in bundles or something like that, which is weird. I, I got mine. I got mine fine. I, I know you can buy it separately, but there's one that said you can only get this in a bundle, uh, and then there's the other one where you could just get it separately. Uh, so it was just like weird. I was like, what? What fucking button? What is this talking about? But uh, yeah, oh. I think it's the same. You see what I'm talking about? With the uh, mini steelbook? Yeah, there you go. It's like a mini steelbook. But um, I got I, I found the regular one. I just saw one in a bundle. I was confused. I was like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, what? you can mini? pay $5 or more and get the mini steelbook as well. I know. That's weird. What's a mini steelbook? <laughs> well, it's exactly Maybe it's like it the size of a CD. For, for a GameCube disc? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like it's it's like a square one, so like a CD case looking. Yeah. Uh, okay, you can fit the soundtrack in it. Oh yeah, so John Wick had a good soundtrack. I'll buy oh, the wait, soundtrack. Oh wait, it has a it has a code with it as well. For what? For the for the movie? So the four K comes with it, and then so does the. Uh, All right, I'm buying it right now. So does the uh, so you get two digital codes. You're about to see a live buy right now. It's not out yet, but still. Yeah, there it is. But it's on a live buy of a Zebo, so it don't fucking matter. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, John Wick uh, uh, is still around, to be fair. Do I need to pay $5 more for that? I, it's a steel book. I mean, if you're... It's a $5 more steel book. If you're a big kahuna over here like me, then... Let's see. Yeah, I, I $40. Already... $40 for one movie. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's the other one's 35 I, mean, I just no. I just I just realized I'm about to pay forty dollars for one fucking movie. I thought twenty dollars was crazy. Like Alita almost came out to forty dollars. I'm just I'm just realizing how expensive. I get it, the collectible steel cases, but fucking. Are you gonna get forty dollars? Almost the price of a video game. Are you getting that? for one movie? I'll probably get it, but I'm I'm a little upset. I don't right know if now. I want the other. I might just I trade that like... that code for some other movie, maybe. That's really cool. It comes with another digital code. That's actually cool. Am, Five dollars actually an additional one. That's cool. And get mini steel book, bitch. It's a new design. That's a good design too. I mean, it looks a little weird in the face, but <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I'm not really like. And also, isn't that okay? I could be wrong. I no one could see this right now, but just look up the steel book for the 4K John Wick three. Uh, I could be wrong, but isn't that face 
from John Wick 2? That's the like, John Wick I, 2 I think poster? So. That, that's awesome. Yeah, where they're all pointing the guns at him, right? Yeah. I mean, it's just his face. So I could just care, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, all right. Anyway. With that, all right, now let's go to our last section of the podcast. Bullshit, right? Bullshit? 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 Okay. Yes. This week, we're talking about the Overwatch. So Jeff was hinting at Overwatch still has one more big announcement this year. At BlizzCon. Campaign! 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 We're, they're, we're getting hints, rumors. There's going to be an Overwatch expansion at BlizzCon. Hmm. Now, I think this is actually probably the biggest needed step that Overwatch needs to bring people back in. Because all you need to do is, is wipe out the old ones, bring an expansion, put that out on digital, like, or not digital, but like physical, like 30 bucks, twenty nine ninety nine. Put some other put some other shit on it. Maybe put like a, a an actual campaign mode. Maybe maybe just a bunch more maps or something. Maybe I'll pay for a campaign mode. I'll pay. But that that's a big rumor. What do you guys think? An expansion? He said a big announcement. He wasn't fucking around, right? He wasn't just like that's eh, a big announcement. Did he say? I didn't watch the update. If that's what you're talking no, about. I'm pretty sure it was update? big, and then and he was saying there's another big thing, which I mean he considered the two 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 pretty big, which is it is. I think that that fundamentally changes the whole game from the they're last. They're in. They're in. That's that though, right? No, so, no. That that's been that's been the worst kept it's secret. It's heavily of all time. rumored. Yeah, but I, I feel like Jeff wouldn't say that for some everybody knows right now. No, he said that no one knows about this. I know that's what I'm saying. I'm saying everybody knows about two two two, so he, there's no way he's talking about this thing, the big surprise. So two two no 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 two 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 is announced. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying two, is two, two, he had, he had, he had, last year he mentioned Overwatch gonna have a big year this year. Two 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 was yeah. the first big announcement. Yes, yes. Yes. But that's not what he's suggesting when he one. says that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So he, so he, well, it's I, definitely I not two two two. Well, yeah, because this this I'm saying because this they announced two 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 officially last week. Okay, that's what I thought they did. I, I didn't real. I, I didn't know if During it was just a rumor point, that the watch point thing. Um, okay, I don't, I don't watch. Yeah, it, they but... they did that, and uh, now when he had that whole thing when he was talking about Sigma, he's saying there's right. a big announcement. Yeah, when when he's talking to that one dude, right, and then it's just like is the guy with a headset, and he's talking to another guy, right? Is that it? Because I, I saw some clips from that where he's like mentioning Sigma, like I don't know who that is or whatever. Seagull, yeah, that's what I was trying to say earlier. I I, I thought that was Seagull. But anyway, I don't I don't know these people, but. I remember hearing that name, but anyway, uh, I don't. I think. Do I think it's gonna be a campaign, or do I think it's just gonna? There's gonna actually be a big expansion. I think there's gonna be a pretty big expansion because I, I, it would make sense considering how all these events have like nothing going on, and they said there's something big coming. You know what I mean? Right. So nothing's going on in these these events that are the biggest things when it comes to Overwatch because there's new skins and stuff and whatever, and of course the, the heroes are big too. But uh, people like to get the new skins. Uh, but nothing has really happened that big. Baptiste wasn't that big. He kind of came and went. Uh, Sigma was, I guess, pretty big, but he, again, when they announced him, they announced him, what, two days ago, and it was just like, hey, here he is, you know? Right. There he is. Uh, so I could see them really doing something big with a... Not an event. I think it's uh, there's going to be a new mode of some sort, you know? I guess kind of... I guess the custom thing happened. That, that was kind of big, even though I don't hear anybody talking about it anymore. But uh, it's it's cool, I guess. But uh, I think there's gonna be a big expansion. I, I'm gonna say yes. They they were saying that in the, how Overwatch Two is being in, being in development, which doesn't which does not jive with the whole. They have two years worth of heroes. I heard I heard there's a lot of, uh, a few rumors, not a lot, but I saw I saw a few rumors saying that Overwatch Two might just be focused on PVE, which I don't see that happening. But uh, I don't know. Every time they work on stuff that used to be like one thing and then try to do another thing in that same franchise and that almost never works out for uh blizzard no so, i like, think Starcraft, i think they just starcraft go starcraft think, goes diablo immortal you know i stuff think they got, they got a good thing going with overwatch right now they just got to keep it going yeah i saw rumors about it being like a, overwatch 2 will be pve you know like focused i mean I, i'm sure that's gonna be multiplayer shit in there obviously you can team up with people and fight right. the enemies but i don't see that really happening but i saw rumors like that but i'll, I'll say there is going to be they have to keep it fresh somehow you know what i mean but i guess the big thing that could happen is just them announcing overwatch 2 because that could be it that wouldn't just that would not make sense with what he was saying though. it would not make sense with the heroes no but i guess they could announce it and then it comes out in three years so 
Yeah, they have, to keep, they have to keep Overwatch fresh until the next one comes out. I mean, they announced Overwatch one, but two years before it came out, right? And that was like a new IP, so they could easily just say Overwatch two. Here's a, like a really shitty teaser, like for a, a game that's not coming out for another two or three years. I feel like um, you, lose, you lose steam on the current one, though. Fucking what's their names did it so. Uh, I mean, Blizzard loses Bethesda. steam all the time with their fucking stuff well, anyway. They mentioned, so. but we also mentioned Bethesda that did BlizzCon it too, last so. year was a disaster that they got to yeah. really, like, fucking... They got to they, they line everything up this year. So I, that's all well, I can see could happen. But Bethesda did the same thing with uh, Skyrim. I mean, not Skyrim, I'm sorry. Elder Scrolls 6, uh, where they're like, Starfield, eh, yeah, we're going to fish sure. and it. Sure, but Elder Scrolls 6 but too, there, baby. There, that's there, not coming yeah. out for 10 years. Yeah, but there's a difference there. Is that Overwatch is still Bethesda. active right now? And it's still being marketed and sold right now, whereas they don't. No one gives a fuck about Elder Scrolls right now. They'll, they'll sell whatever copy they need to or whatever. I don't, I don't know about that. They keep releasing so, that shit. Yeah, <laughs> but but no one's gonna like. There's not someone like, oh man. I know it's I'm, not active. I know I'm not yeah. saying it's active. I'm just saying I, You're saying nobody gives a shit about it. I'm no one saying, gives a shit if they announce Elder Scrolls Six and then they just don't want to buy Five now. Like no one's gonna say like I'm gonna wait for the sequel now. Right, and that's but that's what I'm saying. If they announce Overwatch Two now and say it's not coming for a couple years, then. Yeah, I think that would make some people, like, if they announce certain things, like, if they say, like, your progress transitions in some way or something like that, I don't know. But um, I'm not Jeff Kaplan, so. All right, what do we say? I say, I say yeah. I think there's going to be expansion. Uh, it matters on how huge it's going to be, I guess. Like, huge is, I don't know, I guess relative. Uh, it's like, I, it could be, uh, one person could say, like, two new heroes, that's huge. Me, I would want a campaign. That would be huge for me. Some people be like uh, a new mode that'd be huge for them, you know, like a new like you know objective. You have objective. You have a uh, uh, control hey, assault. Hey, look, yeah, escort. there could be a new version of that. That could be huge to people, and that that would be huge. That would change the game. What if they be just like, oh, delete cool. tracer. <laughs> I love that. Do it. No balls. Do it. No balls. <laughs> All right. Dude, what do you Lee say? Tracer and Genji. Uh, I say bullshit. I don't think we'll get an expansion. Considering they are already investing in doing an Overwatch 2, adding new characters and stuff takes far less resources than what a whole new game takes. I think basically we're looking at Overwatch's maintenance mode right now, just not build as such. So I think what's going to happen is, if anything, we might get kind of like a more cohesive story. Like maybe they'll go ahead and create a dedicated PvE mode that's year round as opposed to just going ahead and have it be an event, but I don't think it'll be anything like a full blown expansion. I, I would consider that huge though if they just have a, a dedicated just mode. You just talk about mode period, like it's just there now, like it's not yeah. an event thing. I think that would be pretty huge though. I, think I would consider huge, that think an expansion, be, right? I wouldn't consider it an expansion. I would consider it an expansion if, if it's like a, a mode that gets updated all the time, not all the time, but you know, like once every little while, I'm assuming, right. Right, they have to update that, right? Maybe. <laughs> Are you Jeff Kaplan? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be for the right price. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds dirty, bro. <laughs> that was a podcast. Uh, actually, I forgot one pickup. Adrian? Oh, no. What'd you get? Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, we've I all... got it, Can bitch! You, you throw it, dude. Fuck! I'm not throwing it.